Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you asked for it, and now you freaking got it. <coughs> ah, ah, excuse me. Today's the day. I've been talking about it. It's been inevitable. Nothing can stop this from happening. Sorry to say. Aim for the chair. Don't see chair. Oh, you will see chair. Right after I start. Uh, right after I announce the stream on Discord. Give me, give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me one sec. Uh, I'm gonna need a second here. Announcements channel. Join the Discord, by the way, if you're not in there. Imagine not being in the Discord and being an active part of the Discord community. Couldn't, couldn't be you. Uh, why did it come to this? At everyone. Love it. Uh, Alright. We, we're getting it. Sneeze is a micro stroke. What the hell? All right, listen up. What's going on? Hope you're all having a lovely day so far. We're getting the stream started. We got the Halo music. We're vibing. We're feeling good. It's crazy out here. And unfortunately, I have some sad news. The sad news is that today, for a decent chunk of time, we're going to be doing chair stuff. That's right. This gaming chair here. This is going to be a large part of the stream, alright? This is a lot of the stream today. I hope you all are ready for that. Because uh, realistically, I could be... What, what else could we be doing? We could do Scarab stuff, uh, making a custom map. We could be doing ODST stuff. We could be making new ships. We could be doing all kinds of stuff. But you know what we get today? Because all of you were so generous, and we hit well over the 500 super chat mark. We are doing the drivable chair vehicle today. I hope you're all okay with that. I hope that excites you. I hope that really uh, touches your giblets in all the right ways, because uh, that's what we're doing today. And we're going to start off the stream with some vibes, you know, chilling a bit. We got some Halo music. We got some cool custom modded stuff, all the good stuff. We got the Golden Warthog. We got the Scarab Gun from Halo 2. And, uh, you know, we're just going to vibe for a minute while everybody gets in. But let me tell you, I do, in fact, have a whole ass gaming chair that we are going to be making today. And you get to watch me make it. Okay, You get to watch it happen. Make ODST drop pods. Oh, don't worry, I will. Maybe I'll even start at this stream. Who knows? I might be feeling brave and bold and beautiful today. Bold enough to do that. We'll see. That being said, though... That's a space pickle. Demon with the fiver. Thank you very much. Currently laughing over the argument on Twitter over the scarab textures. Oh my god. You know what's funny? I read the argument on Twitter. I gotta have to go over it with all of you so you get the context for what me and Demon are talking about. Literally, okay, so I I was reading into that and I actually changed the textures because of that argument. I'm not even kidding. I, I literally changed the scarab textures because of the argument that happened. Let me let me pull up Twitter really quick so we can so you all know what the hell we're talking about. You're talking about the darkness and the contrast, right, Demon? Because that's what I read. Everybody was talking about that. Okay. That little kitty cat off camera. So anyway, um, remember how the biggest complaint that y'all had in chat um, was that it was too dark inside the scarab? Well, looky here, I brightened it up just a little bit. You can actually kind of see what's going on in here now. Not bad, right? I brightened it up. I found out there was actually an issue with the textures. And now it's a bit brighter in here. Not perfect, but you know, it's getting there. Anyway, we're not doing scarab stuff today. We're doing cherub stuff today. So what we have made recently on stream is a fully functioning Halo 2 scarab. I actually do have some updates to share uh, on stream today about that. Demon with another two. Thank you. I put my two cents in that post. What? Let me see. I didn't read through it recently. Let me find it. Ba, ba, ba. 
What is your name? Opening Twitter. I have to be very careful with Twitter because I play VR chat and I have some VR chat peoples that I follow and like never know what's gonna come up and I ain't about to lose my YouTube channel today. Oh, I see you. Uh, the orange being a slight issue. I don't understand more than the green and the purple. Green. See, people are talking about green more than purple. And uh, I do get what they're talking about, but that's actually built into the textures in Halo 2. I don't think people realize that the fact that the Scarab's kind of green is uh, a thing. Love the thumbnail. Thank you. It's a work of art, Chris. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, it's so weird that I have to call you Chris because your name is Chris Hansen on YouTube, but like, it's obviously not your name. But it's a weird place. Anyway, the, the Scarab is a little bit more orange now. It's slightly more orange. Demon with another five? Damn, you're already slapping Super Chats today, Demon. Okay. Also, send me the textures and normal maps for the Golden Hog. I got my account on the upscaling site. I don't know. I don't think we really need to upscale the Golden Hog, to be honest. Like, it's pretty good as is. You know, it's in the Halo 3 art style. The Hog already is pretty detailed. Like, you have to zoom in to really see any pixelation. I like the Hog as is. I don't want to upscale the Hog. I like it this way. Any more Scarab mods in the future? Oh, many. In fact, I'm gonna... I didn't show you guys. Let me show you something I did before we get into chair territory, because we're we're gonna do our epic gaming chair mod. Uh, dude, I started getting gnats yesterday in my house, and like, I don't have any nasty stuff. I don't, I don't leave my dishes out in the sink or anything. Like, I'm a clean person, and I started getting gnats, dude. I hate gnats so much. I'm gonna have to start putting all those little traps for them. Um, I did some cool stuff. I want to show you. I, uh... I made the scarab better as AI. I made a better AI scarab. Let me show y'all. Andrew Vendulce, thank you very much for the fiver. So you mentioned that Johnson was piloting the scarab in that video demonstrating yours. Keep in mind, it's only Johnson's if it's green. If it's green. Oh, hold up, hold up. Is that related to the green comment on Twitter where people were saying that uh, it looks too green. That'd be funny to see a green-ish Halo 2 Scarab to know that it's friendly. Demon with another 5 or 2 upscale everything. They don't even know that I upscaled the upscaled texture. Like, double upscaled. Listen, man, you... You gotta calm down. You're upscaling too much. What's gonna happen? One day you're gonna upscale so far, there aren't even gonna be pixels anymore. It's gonna create a void of just color. At some point, you gotta, you gotta be careful. Infinite's still better than Battlefield 2042. True. That's actually true. Because you can actually play infinite. So check this out, alright? This is an enemy Halo 2 Scarab. And what's that? Is that turret on top right there? Is it moving with AI? Did I redo the animation so that it can look all around and be more dynamic? I sure did. And is that the back turret working too? Is it also looking all around and having enhanced animations? No way! Did I fix all of the Scarab's turning animations last night after stream? I sure fucking did! Am I gonna fight this thing in a scarab right now? Oh, you bet your ass I am. Let's fucking go. And uh, don't worry, chair content's coming, guys. Like I said, for all of you tuning in, oh, we're doing the chair. I just gotta give you all updates on what I did after stream yesterday. Also, um, the scarab can be blown up now. It's not good. I didn't do any good effects for it, and it needs a lot of work. But, yeah, it can be blown up. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta fight this thing. It's gonna blow itself up eventually because the footsteps deal damage, but... Oh, it's shooting turrets at me. Oh boy, I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh my god. Andrew at the two bucks, thank you very much. Nah, just referring to the green elite vehicles. Ah, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. It would be interesting to see this thing in green, to be honest. You could probably do that, but thank you for, the, uh, for that too. Appreciate you. It'd actually be really easy to make a green version of this. Demon with the two lives, am I going to fight this thing in a scarab? Did I say that? Oh my god. Of course I said that. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Oh my god, this turret, by the way, I made this top turret right here super accurate. It's just nailing me. I'm so fucked. Oh no! Even trying to drive and escape this thing, I'm unable to. Um, but like I said, you actually can blow this thing up, funnily enough. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, so... Here's what you need to keep an eye out for. See these the blue lights, the green glow on the bottom, the little lights here, the light in the eye, the green glow inside there. All of that, keep an eye on it, right? 
And I'm going to blow this thing up. And uh, let me show you where I'm at with the destruction on it. Whoopsies. So I have basically made it so the current destruction state, which is a very work in progress, by the way, uh, does this. Shoot it a couple times. It's supposed to play an animation where it like gets down on the ground and buckles, but for some reason it's not playing right now. Boom! So animation, the death animation currently isn't playing. I need to work on that, but it dies. Uh, the Halo 4 music goes down because it's freaking me out. Um, but it dies, the green light on the belly goes out, all the lights turn off, the eye turns off, uh, all the lights are gone. Basically, it's, it's just dead, dead now. There you go. Um, do I, should I do a green version of this? It would be kind of weird to do, but I could literally do a green version of this. Give it a huge HP bar. Yeah, I just have it set to this HP as a test. But literally, I'm. But the reason I'm doing this, by the way, is because I don't know how many of you were here last stream yesterday, but I had this whole idea where I wanted to do like a new Mombasa map where like this thing was stomping and blowing up buildings and you had to take it down. And I knew I needed to make this destructible. So this is the beginning of the destruction states that this thing will have. And all, all I have it set to right now is it has about 1,000 HP. And it gets destroyed just by damage. You don't have to go inside of it or anything. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on. And you can kind of see, you know, I gave it a dummy effect. And all the lights turn off when it explodes. Let's see if I can get it. Boom! There we go. And it's down. And I can show you too. Let me open Blender real quick. I did a test, a very temporary, simple animation, just to see if I could get this thing to uh, buckle. So it's supposed to be playing, uh, it's supposed to be playing this animation where it kind of falls down and droops. I can just kind of put that together real fast, but it's not playing that for some reason. And I'm gonna hopefully figure that out by the end of stream, but we're gonna do chair stuff today instead of scarab stuff. You get my gaming chair, my epic gaming chair into Halo 3. But well, eventually I'll get this working and the thing will buckle and then die and explode and its legs will go flying and, you know, fucking AC-130 come up. And it's going to be crazy. People will die. It's going to be intense. It's going to be intense as fuck. But you saw the thumbnail. You know what time it is. It's chair time. So from scratch today, you're going to watch as I... From scratch, take a 3D chair model from the internet and I put it into here. By the way, uh, who said, can you make it crouch like the Halo 3 Scarab? That's the plan. Also, I had a dream last night that the Halo 2 Scarab had a crouch function and I could press control to make it crouch. That's what my dreams are like. That's so weird. I, that's a legit dream I had last night. I just remembered it. All right. We are going to get our chair into Blender right freaking now. Right freaking now. So I have it as an OBJ. I downloaded it from the internet. Um, I'll show you it because I have to give credit to the creator. But this here is our gaming chair. Oh, is it beautiful or what? That's my chair right there. That's my whole chair. You sleeping? That's true. I do sleep. I hate to say it. I actually caught up on my sleep today and slept in way too long. I've been streaming nonstop. But... Let's get Master Chief in here. We need to know. This is probably like one foot tall compared to Master Chief. So let's get him. Get him in the scene. Halo 3. Master Chief. Generate the model. Yeah, wait. What happened to the music? Get that back. Alright, yeah. So that chair might be, theoretically, just a little bit small. We don't need scale model Spartan in here. Sorry, buddy. You don't get to be part of the chair. Uh, uh, so we join them all together. All these together. These two together. Here's our chair. Call it chair. I know, inspired. So we're going to get this quite a bit bigger. So how big do you think it should be for Mr. Chief here to sit in it? Is that a good size? That might be a bit too big. Maybe like there. That should be pretty good. 
Jans Vaughn with the 10 bomb. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Is it being an OBJ is perfect for me because those are all the files in working with. So if you go into detail of each step while making it, that'd be great. For sure, I will. So it's pretty straightforward. You can run into some issues. You know, the model might be too detailed or something for the Halo engine to handle, but everything should be fine overall. So I'm going to rotate this the direction that I want. Better. Add the cherub too. Oh, <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you, Ender Slayer, for the two dollars. I appreciate it. We will see what the hell happens. But here is our chair. I think that's a good scale. I think our chief can sit in this chair comfortably. Like, let's just move him over. You know, he's sitting there, and he's kind of like, yeah, let's you know, let's pr let's do a scuffed little leg bend. All right. So he's like, you know, his <laughs> he's gonna like. <laughs> Oh, this is so cursed. <laughs> Chief finds this gaming chair extremely comfortable. He really does. And I don't blame him. He looks like he is in the peak of luxury here. So that's what we're that's what we're gonna work with today. I think that looks pretty great, Chief. Wouldn't you agree? He's he's like. Yeah, bro, for sure. This is a great chair. Thank you so much for making this. You no problem, man. I got you. So here's what I'm thinking, right? I'm not just going to import this as one solid object. Or there's no leg support. Um, actually, there is in fact leg support. It's just tucked away at the bottom of the chair. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, also, there's a texture for the chair. Uh. I'm going to make it all one material, by the way. Dundere Merc. Merce? Thank you very much for the $2. Appreciate you. Profits in gaming chairs went, oh my god. Yeah, literally. That's... Mr. Chief, what are you doing in that gaming chair? Sure. Playing Fortnite. So, I think I'm going to make these all one material. You dig... You dig what I'm saying here? I select all, put it on a chair material, and then I delete all these other materials. I'm gonna grab, because there's already a texture. There's already a texture for this, so uh, I'm gonna add that in real quick. Get that quick old image texture. And uh, it's in the gaming chair folder. Let's see how that looks. Damn, but there's a problem, gamers. There's a problem. My gaming chair is white, not blue. This is sacrilege. It's disgusting. Please don't make the profit of swag. Oh, you can't stop me angry. You can't stop me. I'm crazy. I'm out here. I'm so crazy. Ah, I'm crazy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this abomination. I'm so sorry that you guys have to see this. By the way, you should not have to see a blue gaming chair. This is not blue. Uh, my chair is not blue. Just paint my blue, my chair blue. You're right. Why would I change the game texture? I should just pull out a bunch of paint and just stick it on there. Halo Brian, thank you for the two dollars. Appreciate you. Thank you. Halo Two Anniversary Bomb. Maybe I saw you send me the files for it. Uh, for now, I'm gonna stick with the regular one. But it is very interesting that you managed to actually pull up the anniversary stuff. We will see what happens. I will let you know if I decide to do it. All right, see, this is just, so this is the texture, right? It's like gray and blue. No, 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 no. We're going to do a desaturate, right? So we're going to take all that color out of there. Then we're going to up the contrast and the brightness. But then, like, also up the contrast again, because, like, yeah, there we go. Now that's a gaming chair if I've ever seen one. We're going to save that as chair epic.png. Actually, we need to save that as a TIFF because we're going to import it into Halo soon. And Halo only likes .tif images. Uh, what did I call it? Chair. Epic underscore. Nice, but lowercase. There we go. This will be the texture for our chair now. Let's get it. Let's get it figured out. Oh, now that's a gaming chair. That's looking pretty good. You know, gamers sit on this. Yeah, right. 
we gonna be gaming? Add the Ewin logo. I don't know. If, you know, maybe if Ewin sponsors me, I'll add the logo, right? Maybe I should add a, my own logo, right? I'll put a little rejected shotgun picture right there. Super easy. So this is a, a much better looking chair. So now we need to get this in Halo. I'm gonna be honest, it's actually really easy to do that. But there's a couple things I want to do. How would you all feel if, theoretically, the entire back area, like all, let me select it all. Give me a second, there's so many individual parts. How would you feel if the entire back of the chair, like, rotated? You know what I mean? Like, you could rotate it like that. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Would that be, like, so, like, if you aim down, or, like, let's say you aim straight up, and it does like that, right? Or then you aim down, and you're, like, looking down, and it animates like that. I feel like that'd be really, really funny. I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a new vertex group. I'm gonna call this one, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna call this one the back. And I'm gonna invert my selection and call this base. Find that. Okay, that should be good. So now I can make some bones, right? We can start getting a skeleton to our chair. The Master Chief will be able to lean. We get mad lean. Everybody knows Chief likes the lean. But let's get that going. First off, you need a, a basic bone. Uh, every... I'm going to make an armature with a single bone. Uh, every bone in Halo, every bone in a Halo skeleton needs uh, a base bone. It's basically a root bone. And I'm gonna call the bone. We call it like we call it root. And I'm gonna make another bone as well. You can see it down here. It's a little baby bone. That'll be our root bone right down there. Won't really do anything. Um, and also I'm gonna move our chair back a little bit. I want it to be centered. It'll make me happy if it's centered. There we go. Looking good. We'll take our root bone. So basically, we only need two bones here. One is the, the main chair, and the other is the reclining part, which is so easy. Andrew, Van Dulce with a huge fiber. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. You were tasked with creating an infinite DLC campaign starring the Arbiter. How would you go about it? Anything come to mind off the top of your head? So my goal, not even story-wise, my goal gameplay-wise with that would be that... Want to go sneeze? Oh, help. I can't sneeze. Oh! So my goal would be uh, to do something that really feels like Halo 2. I felt like Halo 2, where you had like the Arbiter and you could play as him, was pretty cool. But realistically, the problem with getting the Arbiter in Infinite, the way I see it, is that you can't really... Uh, how do I say this? You don't play as the Arbiter, or you don't play as anybody except Chief in Halo 3. And that... It's not great for making a campaign with the Arbiter in it. The Arbiter would just be like a character, kind of like the, uh, like a scripted cutscene character. And that's pretty lame, gonna be honest. Not epic. Making a gaming chair. You're trying to show me stuff that's not epic right now. I just want you to know that. But in all seriousness, it would be really hard to do. I don't know how the hell I would do that, but it would be very hard. I'm assuming the chair is drivable. Oh yeah, we're gonna be switching over to Halo pretty soon and getting this <laughs> whole ass gaming chair in there. So get this, all right? I just had an idea, off topic, of the Halo Infinite Arbiter thing. Um, I mean, where's visibility? Let me, no, not there. Let me find this. Where's visibility? I need to see this through stuff. Where the... whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, what if the seat can rotate, right? So like we already have it so the, the back part is gonna rotate, right? Like this, we're gonna get this rotating. We're gonna look at that mad lean, but also, why doesn't the chair spin? Like this bottom part should stay fixed and the chair should like spin. I think that'd be epic. Freaking epic, man. I do Alt L to deselect. 
Alright. Do that. Let's get you right there. We look at that. Now we have the whole base of the chair selected, right? Oh, wait. Yeah. Whole base of the chair selected. I'll make this new vertex group. I'm going to call it seat. Boom. Assign. And then we remove that from the base. Boom. Now look at that. We've got three areas now on our Epic Gaming chair. That's a big friggin' chair, dude. Yeah, but look at how big the friggin' Spartan is. He's huge. He's huge. Replace the profits thrown with a gaming chair. Don't you worry. I have many plans with this. It's gonna be good. It's <laughs> it's gonna be really good. <laughs> so we got uh, we got our cool chair now. Next up, we're gonna get the uh, armature still going. So feet bone is going to be part of the root bone. It, root. Like so. I want the seat bone to be like here. here. And it'll rotate there. And then we'll have one more bone. I'll duplicate the seat bone. I'm going to call this one, uh, what is it called? Back? I think I just called it back. I know, very inspired name. Armature, visibility, viewport display in front. There we go. So let's get this right here. It needs to be like on this joint like that. I want it to be kind of leaning back like that. So now, theoretically, I think I've rigged up this chair. Let me save it real quick. Epic underscore chair dot blend. Oh yeah, gaming. All right, let's see if I got this working. Oh wait. It's definitely not going to work yet. I got to do one thing. First, I'm going to parent it to the armature. And second, I'm going to give it an armature modifier. Like so. Now we're gaming. Demon with a fiver. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I made a green scarab texture for later. Working on legs next. Remind me to remind you. Leaving interior alone. Honestly, I don't even think I'm going to use a green texture. It's all in the shaders. Well, most of it. I I'm going to probably do a shader edit. Make that happen. I'd be interested to see though. It could definitely work out interestingly. The shaders are basically the, the most intense part. Yo, look at this. We got it working. See, this is going to look so good in Halo. The only thing I got to change is this bone right here needs to be parented to the back bone. No, uh, to the seat bone. Yeah. Okay, let's try. So here, look how fully featured our gaming chair is, right? We have the main bone. Oh, wait, what? What is this called? This bone? This is root. Oh, right. I got to call this. Oh, I need a third bone, actually. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Base. I'm going to rename this to root, actually. Okay. Our gaming chair is now fully featured. We're gaming. The chair should fly. Maybe it will. Who knows? So here, check it out. We have the bottom bone for our gaming chair. It rotates like so. But then we have this one, right? And this rotates the top of the chair. So we could be looking around like, what? Huh? Hmm? Huh? And then we look up and we're like, what? What's up there? What's, da what's down there? What? Our gaming chair is so cool. It's so cool. All right, so we got it all rigged up. We got it. Now we can animate our chair if we want to. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is content I didn't know I needed. <laughs> it was voted on by all of you. Technical. Well, okay, it wasn't really voted. I kind of power gamed myself into it, but it is what it is. So we've got <laughs> we got our super cool gaming chair. Um, and now let's quickly make a physics model for it, which should be like really easy. But what of the wheels, my good sire? I'm gonna be honest, I thought about making the wheels animated. Um, and like, I actually know a really good way, well, okay, not a really good way, but I know of a way that I can animate it so the wheels move. But I'm gonna hold off on that for now, because that's a lot of detail. Like, it's possible, but that's like a ton of detail. Dominic Rurup, thank you very much for the two bucks, appreciate you. Why isn't 343 doing half the work you're doing? Man, I don't know. I hate to say it, but like, Rupert is doing way more work than I'm doing. I'm putting together gaming chairs and 
importing over animations and stuff from Halo 2. Not exactly like a professional game developer making HD textures and stuff. I'm just out here having fun. I think the difference that you're seeing is that I'm just messing around and having fun, which is kind of like Bungie-ish, I guess. Whereas 343 is like very cold and calculated and company-like and business-like. I'm sure they have fun there too, but you know what I mean? It's just a little different. It's a little different vibe. But they're they're way better than I am at all of this shit. I'm just a dude. One one random ass dude. But uh let's make a let's make a physics model real quick. Physics models are extremely easy to make. So we have a chair. This is what it's gonna look like visually in, in Halo. And now I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna call it money sign chair. By making it money sign, you can't really see it because I have the overlay in the way. It's called money sign chair, like dollar sign chair. And uh, that is gonna let the game know that this is gonna be a physics model. And I'm just gonna start separate, oops, what did I just do? Yeah, I'm gonna start separating this into different pieces. And I'm gonna start doing convex hull. And basically I'm just making solid basic physics shapes out of this. Uh, it should be real easy to. And I just separate it out into different shapes. Convex hole. Super easy. And then any shapes that are like too small that wouldn't even be important to a physics model, you can just straight up delete them. Oh, let me hide the chair. Yeah, so you can just straight up delete stuff that like is not important for physics. I mean, realistically, I don't even need to do this much detail. I can do like that, that, separate by a selection, then convex hole it, boom, there's our physics model. Because realistically, you don't even, like, when you're, when this thing's flying around the map, uh, and it's like bumping into stuff, you're not going to notice if there's, like, if it's a triangle there. Like, you're literally never going to know. This is like the size of a chair in Halo, a game where the scale of stuff is just absurd. Uh, and I could probably even get away with highlighting all this stuff up on the top of the seat here and just turning this all into one big physics piece. Like, realistically, I could probably get away with this. Let's say that everything here. Yeah, that's like most of the stuff. Okay, wait, hold on. I don't want to select all of that. Like, can I make this all one giant physics piece? Probably. Let's find out. I'd be surprised if I couldn't. There we go. That'll work perfectly as a physics object. And then last but not least... Convex hole. Oh wait. Forgot to grab a couple pieces from the last one. Nothing left, right? Okay, yeah. Separate by selection. Boom. Convex hole. Done. And then all that we're left with is the seat. Same thing. Last piece. Convex hole. There's our gamer chair. Even with the fiver, thank you. The physics model of the actual seat should be bigger than the seat, so the player's head doesn't go through objects. Uh, it shouldn't go through objects. I don't think the player's head... Oh, I see what you're saying, though. Let me see. How big is Chief in this again? Let me call it in a Chief. Because that's a, that's a pretty good point. Thank you for the fiver. And Andrew Van Dolz with a 10 bomb. Dude, thank you. I really appreciate that. That's huge. Uh, for Infinite RB, I'd recommend aspects of elite gameplay from 2 Reach and SPV3's commander mission. Higher base vitality and move speed. Evade dodge roll in place of sprint. I like that. Camo is starting equipment. Okay, I like the gameplay ideas you had. I, I can't comment on SPV3 commander missions because I actually didn't play SPV3. I wanted to for a long time, just never have. Um, but I do like the idea of the least being a lot more agile. I think it would be great. I think it was nice of Bungie to bring it back to that and kind of reach. And they're a lot like that in Infinite too. Um, but yeah, here we go. This looks good. That'd be nice. That's actually a really good idea for Arbiter missions. I wonder how would you would play as him though. I don't know. But anyway, we, we do have now this. And I'm going to make game developers all across the world cringe as I make a collision model by duplicating the render model. I know. I know. It's okay. It's fine. So now by making by a duplicate of the render model and putting an at sign in front of it, this is now the collision model. This is what bullets will collide with. It's a lot more detailed. And then we have all of our physics model pieces separated out into different chunks. All convex. I'm just gonna rename these real quick. Uh, what is it? Control F2, find and replace R.00 and replace it with R. Oh, I gotta select them. Control F2, boom. Okay, now we've got nice names for 
our stuff. Just an ODST with $2. Thank you. Chair. That's actually so true, ODST. I don't know. I say that all the time and nobody nobody gets it. People just don't. They don't know. Yeah, they just don't know. Um, and Demon with a fiver again. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Forgot about spawning the chief to see if the player would go through. Oh, you're right. I did. ADHD brain do be a thing. All right, so this is how tall Chief is normally, and we'll sit his booty, we'll get him to booty and chair height at about there. And I think, I think his head is like just close enough to where it's not gonna matter. I think he'll be okay. That's him, actually in fact, he'd probably be a little lower than that. Yeah, he'll be all right. He will be a-okay. Well, we've done it. This is now, <laughs> thank you for the fiver by the way, appreciate it. This is now a gaming chair that is fully featured <laughs> and ready. For Halo 3 importing. <laughs> so let's get it ready. We're going to export now as a JMS. Uh, and we're going to be Halo 3. I'm going to auto generate the folders. We're going to get everything because we have all of our stuff in here. I'm going to call it epic underscore chair. <laughs> epic. So this is going to be a vehicle. We're gonna call it. We're gonna give it a folder in the data in the data folder under objects of vehicles gaming chair. We're gonna have that. We're gonna make a bitmaps folder real quick, and I'm going to toss the uh, texture that I made earlier into the bitmaps folder. And the thing we just rendered out from Blender, I'm gonna throw that into our gaming chair folder as well. And now we should be able to. <laughs> We should be able to put our gaming chair in the game. Let's go. Oh God, let's see. So I'm not gonna make it a vehicle at first, but we're gonna get it in as an object. Demon with the $2, thank you. Bending his legs reminded me of Arby and the Chief. Yeah, that's pretty true actually. It definitely gives that vibe. Let's get him, let's get him bent. Uh, just an ODST. Thank you for the two bucks. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you should do a charity stream sometime. That would be really nice, actually. I could find a good charity, like a one worth donating to. All right. I don't have bones on this chief, so I have to mangle his legs. Please don't mind. God, he's looking, looking fresh. The chief is looking good. Vibing out. Gaming, even. <laughs> Okay, and uh, let me hide the physics model so it doesn't look so cursed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Maybe uh, maybe I'll do a charity stream sometime. Demon with a fiver as well. Thank you. Appreciate you. Decaf Espresso says to look in the Dank Memes channel of Discord to see some chair inspiration. Chair inspiration. Oh, wait, you sent me something too. Let me, oh, you sent me the green scarab texture. I might have to give that a try. Let me, okay, I'm going to my Discord server. Oh, am I in the Shoddy Squad Discord server on my other monitor right now? Looking through the Shoddy Squad Discord server at the Dank Memes channel right now in the, in the, the description, you can get the link to the Shoddy Squad Discord server. Epic. I'm talking. That is so cursed. That is really cursed. What the fuck? Bro. Bro, that's not okay. <laughs> that, that is not okay. This is the cherub. I hate it. I fucking <laughs> Thank you so much, Decaf. Thank you so much for the fucking cherub. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, as the, and yeah, Demon's a real one for pointing that out. Sorry, you know, it's hard for me to read chat sometimes. Big bright colors make my brain happy. It's it's a tough out here. Let's get this this gaming chair in the game. It should be easy now. Tool render. The render command here will get us the render model so we can see it. Objects, vehicles, aiming, chair, final. Final thing at the end there will render out shadows and stuff and look beautiful. God left us behind long ago. Why not a Soyuz? Um, because I am just, I go against the grain, you know, I'm just, just different. Not like the other girls. I'm just out here, you know. Cool. Let me go up. Collision. 
There are collision model made. Demon with another fiber. Dude, you're actually on one today. Thank you, though. The cherub should float and the legs should dangle. <laughs> That's like some eldritch horror shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. It's just fucking floating like a squid going through the air. Just scarab legs, not for any reason other than to just dangle all creepily. Oh my god, that's cursed. That's so bad. Alright, don't worry, Halo HQ. Green, he's just... He's very opinionated, don't worry about him. He, he, he just... He, he had it rough. Uh, but I agree also with him. Man, prompt's cool. It makes you think you're a hacker, you know? You want to see something cool? You want to see what a hacker I am? Check this out. See, I'm doing... I'm importing bitmaps, right? But what if I... Oh my god, I'm literally a hacker now. Did you see that? I'm actually a hacker. That's crazy. I'm literally hacking into the mainframe right now. I'm hacking into the mainframe. Pretty cool stuff, I know. I just I entered the matrix just now. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big deal. Like, oh, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna import uh, some new stuff into Halo? Wrong. I'm hacking the matrix. I only find CMD scary if it's green text. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. I stole all your credit card information. Easy, simple. You've been baited. You think this was just a Halo modding stream? Wrong. I had ulterior motives all along, you idiots. So silly. Yeah, I'm in a silly, goofy mood. Might steal your credit card info. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Tags, uh, objects, vehicles, gaming chair. I hate... Okay, can I just say how much I... I hate this, dude. Like, I'm in here. It's like, what vehicles are in your vehicles folder? Oh, you know, I got an albatross, the brute chopper, a capital ship, gaming chair. Bro, what the fuck? This is not okay. <laughs> uh, I think the gaming chair is going to be like a warthog. Yeah, I'm going to base it off the Warthog. So I'm going to grab the Warthog vehicle tag and also, not the model tag, but the vehicle tag. Grab that. No, you know, I'll do the Mongoose. Ayo, hey, Demon of Song with a fiber. Thank you. But I don't have a credit card or debit card or bank. Then how are you even sending money? What? I don't understand. Explain. And Andrew Van Dolz, goddamn, with a tenor. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. That's so huge. SPV3's commander missions had you playing as Arbiter, accompanied by Halfjaw and Uzataham. Oh, oh, the co-op player three in player three. Um, kind of like in Halo 5. The other neat thing is it had an energy sword armor ability. Okay, energy sword armor ability sounds pretty dope. That definitely sounds pretty dope. Um, wait, gaming chair. Honestly, that's really really cool I, I should play spv3 sometime that sounds like they're the spv guys they're like top tier modders they made like some insane stuff and that sounds really fun i didn't even i knew that they had like elite missions i'd seen brief snippets of it in various like trailers as they were releasing updates over the past like year or two um, but i didn't actually see that uh they had like a bunch of them that's really dope i really like playing as elites if your chair can only move forward and back and not sideways, it's a fake gaming chair. Oh my god, wait, you're right. I have to use like ghost physics for it and make it like technically float. God, you're so right. I don't know what I was thinking. Sacred Sky, thank you for the $2. Demon inserts cash into the disk drive. That's, I mean, I've never seen Demon do these things before. So for all I know, that's actually real. You are absolutely right. So this is a good song right here. I hope you guys can hear this. Demon with the Fiverr again. I just kind of spawned money. Console command, super easy. Surprisingly similar to Skyrim command console. Damn it, I wish I had known that. I That would be so much easier to just live live if I had just realized that there was a you know, item, like player.add item 
just a thing IRL been doing it wrong this whole time I'm actually dumb all right we got our gaming chair dot model hi from Mexico where'd you learn to mod I'd like to try it um I kind of just asked around asked people how they did it people told me I uh I watched some tutorials and I don't know why does the knife tool destroy reflections re because you're messing with the geometry geometry it's hard to explain I don't know how to tell you how 3d stuff works it doesn't really make sense sometimes you just got to separate stuff out and shade flat man I don't know it's crazy 3d modeling is it's a freaking the heckin or it's you know 3d models are real jerks yeah okay what is going on here oh it's running tool what Oh, I'm actually dumb. Bulk import re-imports the whole thing, and I had no idea this entire time. Damn. This is a hacker stream. Command in green font color. Donating by inserting cash into the disk drive. That's right. Everyone watching here, except for you, is elite hacker. So just think about that. We're all epic hackers. Can't stop us. Do I need variance? I don't need the variance block. Goodbye, variance block. Do I need damage info? Sure don't. Goodbye, damage info. Do I need targets? No. Chair material is all I need. So get this, okay? The gaming chair is in the game. But there's a problem. It doesn't have textures. But we're going to spawn it in. Go over here. Actually, let's go back to our test map. I like our test map. Is it just me? Or is the test ultimate sandbox map just like really cozy and comfy? It feels that way. 3D modeler here. Can confirm that 3D modeling is a hassle sometimes. Yeah, that's that's definitely true. That's how I know you're uh, a real 3D modeler. Because you've, you've felt that pain. <laughs> the pain. Every modder got to have a test map. I have a giant octagon. True. I don't know how my Ultimate Forge project became my test map, but it's just very cozy and comfy. It makes me happy. Turns Cortana into an AI chair. Here's what I'm going to do, right? This is my the reason that I've been making this chair model all along. I'm going to take my thick, big booty Cortana model, right? I'm going to have her sit in the chair in game, and then I'm going to export the tags for the chair. I'm going to sell them online and be like, Big Booty Cortana sat in this virtual chair. Uh, please buy it from my only mods. And this has actually been my long term game plan the entire time. I hope you know uh, it was never it was never about the fun and the enjoyment of modding. It's all just a ploy. Uh, what is this object called? Being with the two bucks. Thank you. Read what Bob Lini said. Bob Lini. How's the player model change to anime Cortana when you sit in the chair? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no, I refuse. Reject your wishes. Oh my god, it's so epic. Oh, uh, I've used that word so much. Like, even though it's ironic, I'm saying epic. It's still painful to say it this much. Oh, it's so beautiful. We need to give it textures. We got a Da Vinci chair. Da Vinci chair. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. And the physics model works so good. Let's go, baby. Woo! So naked. So bare. Yeah, we're out here gaming. For all this time, my own gaming chair is getting in the game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> it won't stand up. It better work good. It's like one mil polys. It's not. It's like 8,000. It's actually really low poly. It's super good. Very optimized. You can see the individual. Look at them. It's it's Halo 3-ified. Pretty good. But now, let's get it into the game with high quality materials. Very easy as well. 
So all we gotta do is grab some shaders. What has a really good shader for the chair? What's something leathery? Let's get like the, let's get the warthog interior. Let's do that. That's a, uh, what is it? Warthog shaders, and then it has the, is it called interior? I wanna say interior is, let's see if interior has the seats. I think it does. But yeah, you know, I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna assume that it does. So this is like the leather warthog interior seats. That's gonna be the material I use for the gaming chair. We go shaders. What did I even call the material for this? Hold it. Air underscore material. Okay, very inspired. Andrew Van Dulce with a tenor. Thank you. That's huge. Appreciate it again. You're actually just slapping with so many tenors. What the hell? The energy sword was made an ability mainly to address the CE issue of sword consuming ammo and swing instead of on kill. Oh, right, because there's no function in the engine for that. That makes sense. That's clever. It's a good workaround. The result is probably the best implementation of the energy sword in any Halo. Damn. To have it as an armor ability, I would have to try it and see how it feels, but I could believe... 100% I could believe that that's like really good. That sounds really interesting. And it, it kind of feels like the uh, the energy sword is such a staple of Halo and of the elites in general that I'm kind of surprised that it's not an armor ability, you know? Like in Reach or something, but I... Uh, it, I, get, I get why they don't have it, but also it'd be really cool if you could just have like a like a wrist mounted energy blade or something. Chair, it's so new, unfinished. Not exactly sure what will happen when we sit on it. <laughs> I don't know either. It's gonna be too much power. Okay, so we literally to make this a vehicle. By the way, there's a couple things I'm gonna have to do before. Because right now I'm gonna get it working as a whole ass object. But we're gonna need like markers for the wheels. We need like a marker for where we sit our, our sweet little booty on it and all that stuff. We need a marker for like where you get into it and all kinds of stuff. Just an ODST, thank you for the fiver. Idea, make your own charity, name it Chairs Are Us. Give gaming chairs to gaming chairless. <laughs> also make high charity. I, <laughs> bro, the amount of chair puns that just came flying out of your super chat is unacceptable. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I'm not starting a gaming chair related charity. I think maybe I should give food to the homeless before giving gaming chair to nerds. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's let's get this gaming chair into the game. So let's take the base map. Oh, it's gonna be gaming chair texture. Epic chair nice is the name of that texture that we're getting here. Um, it's got some specular tints that are nice. We gotta remove the bump map, unfortunately. We don't have a bump map for it, not yet anyway. <gasps> it's so new. So beautiful, look at the... Oh my god. So oh, nice. Are we gaming? We're gaming. Gaming. <laughs> the most beautiful things I've ever seen. So The music was perfect. I know. I could. I had to take advantage of the moment. That music was so perfect for this. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Honestly, this looks way better than I thought it was gonna look. It's got like the little the detail map that's like kind of leathery. It's cool. It actually works for most of the material too. Like it doesn't look weird that it's applied to the whole thing. True Sigma male status, this facts. All right, so we need to turn it into a vehicle now. That's it, that's the whole tweet. We don't have time to sit around staring at it and going, oh, oh. We don't have time to go, eh, eh, wait, eh. It doesn't, it doesn't get hit by melees? Oh my God, it's too strong. My melees don't even move it. Explosions don't even move it. Incredible, such strength. Ever since you started playing the Halo Wars soundtrack occasionally during stream, I added a bunch of the tracks to your YouTube Epic Music playlist. Yeah, Halo Wars is so good. Soundtracks alone. All right, we have our gaming chair in, but now we need to sit in it. We're gonna say undersuit. Rue, undersuit would have been a good material for it. And thank you for the two, I appreciate it, Demon. Yeah, undersuit might have been good. Luckily, we already had leather chairs in the game. All right, I'm very much enjoying how ridiculous it looks to have a <laughs> black and white gaming chair in the game, but we need to sit on it. So, yo, can the wheels turn? Not right now, but I could make it so they turn right now. So for those of you who are just tuning in recently, here is the features of this gaming chair that I will be able to animate into it. For one, the entire thing can move, obviously, but also the top can swivel around. And also, the back can whoops, bend up and down, depending on where we're looking. But yes, we can do the PewDiePie bit if we want to. All right. Pioneering new fields every day. You know, Null Scope, I'm really out here. I'm, I'm really seeing what's possible. Pushing the boundaries of what science and technology said were previously impossible. Justin ODST, thank you for the $2. Sit on it? Why don't it sit on me? You're disgusting. You're a real freak, you know that? You're not normal. All right, I'm gonna get some coffee real quick. I rejected, I would please mod an energy axe to Halo. That, that's a pretty sick idea, not even gonna lie. Energy axe, like a hatchet. Just, just throw them at people. That'd be pretty dumb. Is chair, it is chair. There's a, we should sit like a grunt inside of one or something. All right, I'm gonna go make coffee real quick. And while I make coffee, we're just going to like, Admire the chair with a scarab in the background. No biggie. This is Halo 3, by the way, guys. It's it's coffee time. It's that time again. <laughs> All right, it's brewing. What, like, why, why are we here? Just to suffer. Really? I just quite like it. Booba, booba, <laughs> booba. What do you sound like, Shaggy? What do you sound like, my name? Andrew Van Dulce with another 10. Dude, actually ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. Uh, sword AA is super satisfying. Pull out, go ham for 10 seconds, recharges in 30, all without sacrificing a weapon slot. Damn, I like that. No lunge, but again, CE limitations, and the SPV3 devs don't even like sword lunge anyway. Yeah, but it makes sense that, to be honest, like as far as balancing goes, I think it's cool that it doesn't have a sword lunge. Sword lunge on an ability that you could use every 30 seconds for 10 seconds would be OP as shit in my opinion. So I think it's good, regardless of engine limitations, that it doesn't have lunge. Put Johnson in the chair. He knows what the ladies like. God damn, that's so true. That is so true. But look, 
For any of you just tuning in, just know the thumbnail was not clickbait, all right? I did not clickbait you in. You did make me do this. And there is a fucking chair in Halo 3. And yeah, we're gonna be able to sit in it. And you know what we're gonna do? It's gonna have, it's, I don't know, it's probably gonna fly or some shit. I don't even know. I'm just gonna make it fly and shoot lasers because why not? But also it's gonna roll around too sometimes. What if the chair had a scarab gun? Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. I will, I'll do it. Demon with 10 as well. Thank you. Should have sit a grunt on it. You mean Yap Yap the Destroyer? Yeah. <laughs> you remind me one day to challenge you to Halo Wars 1, also known as the classic. I would lose. I'm going to be honest. I would lose. My strategy was just make a bunch of hornets because I thought hornets were cool and then try to make a scarab and then promptly die. <laughs> Coffee. Yeah, anyway, that's so uh, as I was saying, I got some coffee, just vibing out. Let's get this chair drivable. Uh. So first and foremost, we need to give the chair an animation. In order to turn this beautiful chair into a vehicle, we need some animations. And I've got many ideas for one. Demon with the $2 on top of the 10, which by the way, thank you. That 10 was very generous. Thank you for the $2 here. How does one make a bunch of hornets and a scarab? Oh, true. That's right. It was Covey versus humans. That's that's how long it's been. I just I would make a bunch of hornets because I was, Halo Three was like the only game out at that time. The Halo and I just thought hornets were the coolest. And also, when I was on the Covenant, my entire goal would just be to make a scarab, regardless of if it would win or not. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Let's do... Um, we're gonna animate this. Let's go animate this. Yusuf Dunphy with the fiver. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. You and some team could all help out on creating the Fireteam Raven mod for Halo C Eve. This would be an anniversary mod. That'd be cool. I wish a lot of the Fireteam Raven assets from the arcade cabinet were available. There's some really cool stuff there. Higher quality um, Flood Juggernaut is in there. I really want that model. All right. Let's get an animation going for this so we can make it into a vehicle. It'd be really easy to do as well. Pull up a dope sheet real quick. Like so. Got my timeline too. All right, so we're gonna get animating. Very simple. Uh, animation, armature, bone. Gonna get the rotation for all the bones in here. Looking good, I think. Yeah, we're looking good. And I'm gonna copy all these frames over out till frame three and make this three frames long. So we have a really, really basic short animation. Boom. And uh, I can export this as an idol. So we're going to export. Oh, before we do that. Oh, wait, Demon with the Fiverr as well. Thank you so much. My suggestion, make the chair a ghost and replace the ghost guns with either hunter guns or gauze cannons. <laughs> that is doable. That is doable. I think I should actually use the ghost as a base because as, as much as I don't want this thing to hover around, I do need it to move side to side and mongooses and warthogs cannot move side to side. So yeah, I will do the ghost. You right. You right. I'm going to put little markers on each of the armrests right here. And this is where the bullets are going to fire out of. Because yeah, this thing's going to inevitably shoot something. And they got to come out of somewhere. So <laughs> that'll be where they come out of. 
So let me export this as an animation. This is a Halo 3 JMA. We're going to call it Combat Idle. It'll be a basic idle animation. Now, I need to create something for this real quick. So I'm going to make a mesh. Uh, this is going to be a UV sphere. So this is actually going to be a marker. So a marker is an invisible point. For those of you who don't know, a marker is an invisible point in Halo that basically determines where stuff happens. So for example, you got to put a hashtag to let the game know it's a marker. And then I'm going to call this one uh, chair underscore D. And that's basically just a name I invented just now. And that's going to make it so, you know, that's where I'm going to sit. So let's do it. Uh, so I'm going to parent it to the bone called seat. So I actually, I want this to be, so anytime like this seat bone rotates right here, uh, like that, if this rotates at all, I want this marker to go with it. So I've attached the marker to the seat bone. I'm going to say like right here, probably a good spot for it. Demon with the fiver, thank you. It may hover, but if you get the wheels down when you get into it, I could get an animation of the wheels lowering. Smart uh, solution, but I actually have a solution that bypasses even that, which is, wait, make the projectiles come from your character pointing finger guns. <laughs> That's a way better idea than what I was thinking. Maybe I'll do that then. Um, let me make another marker real quick too. This will be the entry. Put it right here in front, up a little bit. So this one's going to be called uh, Chair Enter. And the rotations are probably going to be wrong, I'm going to be honest. Like It's straight up just not going to work good. But uh, so the solution that I've come up with, Demon, is something I used in other vehicles. I don't know if you, how much you remember Extinction, OG Extinction. I know you were there for it and everything. In OG Extinction, the Scarab vehicle that I made, I made a scarab vehicle, and that scarab vehicle, it would, it was like a ghost basically, and it would hover, but the way that it would hover, it would barely hover, like it wouldn't actually hover, but it would like give enough upward force to where it could slide around. So it, it would not float, it would just kind of be on the ground and have less friction. And so that's what I'm gonna do with the chair. Kat is screaming today. She's screaming. She's adorable, and I can't stop myself from giving her attention. I feel so bad because I've been streaming so much, and I got her recently, and she's just having to deal with the fact that I'm not giving her tons of attention. Poor little thing. You could give it RGB lights along the edges. Oh, no, trust me, Lobby. I was literally in the car with my brother earlier today, and he was like, you need to give it RGB lights, and I was like, you're absolutely right. I must. I must. Cannot find sh ERT shadows. Cannot find in render model. Wait a minute. There might be a way to stop shadows from generating on model region, which is why the inside of the scarab is so dark. This error is giving me some interesting ideas. Demon with another fiver. Thank you, man. Always appreciate it. Surprisingly, I joined your community after OG Extinction was defunct. Oh, that's a damn shame. Extinction was like maybe the most fun mod I ever made. You could also make it randomly, rapidly spin somehow. Maybe I should make multiple chair vehicles and um, <laughs> make multiple chair vehicles and some of them fly and others just are like on the ground. Breathing, but you're not coming over. No, you're not shy.
Gotta get a sponsor from a gamer beverage to add in like Inferno Plus did. True. I actually, there was, okay, so this chair had a logo on it, like on the texture. Or no, it was in the thumbnail. I picked a real gaming chair and <laughs> I removed the logo because I was like, they're not sponsoring me. I'm not going to give them free advertising. Demon with the two. Thank you. Chair that leans back and spins to fly. Chair copter. Oh my god. Actually, that would be so god tier. <sighs> okay. Cat. Oh my god, she wants to play so bad. Poor girl. She's dragging her toy around. Little kitten. The solution to your cat wanting its attention is to throw it in lava and break its bed so it can't respawn. What the fuck? Holy shit. I don't, I don't think that's the solution I'm after. Oh my god, my cat's actually screaming non-stop. Um, I gotta give her love in a minute. But uh, let's get these animations in. I think they're in, aren't they? Let's check. Model, animations, uncompressed. Boom, there we go, we got it in. And now that we have animations, I can also get into vehicle territory in the sense that we can actually make this a working vehicle. So we put the animation graph in there. Let me grab the ghost vehicle and we're gonna duplicate the ghost and it's gonna be super easy. So gaming chair dot vehicle based on the mongoose, gotta go. That ain't it chief, we're getting that ghost up in here. Uh, ghost dot vehicle, poo -poo -poo. Is the gaming underscore chair dot vehicle. Demon with the fiver, as a cat owner, legit, get an empty cardboard box and then watch what happens. Oh my god, wait, I have one. I'm gonna do that in just a second. You are so right, and thank you for that fiver. Andrew Van Dulst again with a tenor. Holy huge, humongous. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. For an Arby campaign, the new star enemy class would be C style. Spec Ops of Banished Death Squads. That immediately makes me think of um, Bigger Domni. That'd be cool. Who all employ tactics to throw players for loops. Feigning nade throws. Fading by falsely fleeing. Ooh, and like making you follow them. And like, it, ooh, now that would be dope. That would be really dope. Ghost your cat, please? You just missed it. I showed my kitty just a minute ago. do oh box one sec all right your decaf put something on discord huh Cursed. That is cursed. All right. <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, well, I got the animations done. Now let's make it a vehicle. Yeah. And I've even got the markers down. So let's. Oh, God. All right. Here we go. Gaming chair dot vehicle. I hope you're all are ready for this. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to crash for a second. This is it. This is the time, the place, wiener. What? All right, let's put multiplayer object. That's good. Counts as a ghost light vehicle. Sure, don't even care. It's got attachments. No, delete all attachments. I don't want it to glow. I don't want it to have effects. I don't want it to have sounds. The only sound I want is a swuddle like a really subtle like as it goes across the ground that's it so we'll add that later oh 
Afi's done. Absolutely dominated it. I dominated it. All right, so our ghost driving. So I think we want warthog underscore P as the animation, because for now that's going to be the closest we can get to the uh, character sitting. The marker name that we sit in is chair underscore D. The entry marker name is chair underscore enter. I'm going to double check those. Yep, those are when I named them. And it has an animation that does exist. Let's see, can we spawn it in to the game or does it explode? Or did I do everything right to the point where I can spawn in the gaming chair vehicle tag? I'm a little worried, not gonna lie. Oh, it worked. It worked. The gaming chair vehicle tag is in. Boys and goils, we did it. We're out here. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> yo, hold up. <laughs> that ain't right, though. I don't, oh my god! <laughs> I don't think this was supposed to happen. I don't. I don't think that was it. I don't think we we get it. We got it quite right. Let's um. <laughs> let's try that again. Rotate X ninety. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go again. Hey, yo, Fry Bry. I see you. What's going on? I love you, bro. You made my childhood. I'm glad. I am glad. I appreciate that. Oh, you guys didn't even see. I was fixing the model. Made your childhood. I assume you like the haunting. If so, I'm glad. That was a very good time for me, too. That was literally my childhood. All right, gamingchair.vehicle is in. Now, we go. Rotate the node. No, I'm not going to rotate the node. Rotate the marker. Thank you for the $2. Appreciate you. Um, we get the render. And then we go, yeah. And then we do a little gaming. Yeah. And then, the, whoops. And then we put it in the video game. Now we're putting it in the video game and, and then we're going to get it fixed up. It's going to look good. We're going to be looking good, feeling good, feeling fresh. Drop pod seat. My kitty. Love this cat to death, but I, I'm, I'm streaming, bro. Flip goes. It will not flip. Interesting. <laughs> Wait, fuck. <laughs> I did not. Ah, how did I do it backwards? I literally, ah, uh, whatever. Rotate X minus 90. Okay, let's, let's try that again. Speed and the quickness, hopefully I have re-imported it and fixed it. I had to focus really hard there. Yo, that would be cool. Remaking the haunting maps in Halo 3. Ugh, that's so much. That's a lot of work. It's a lot easier when everything's just a block. Besides, most of that wasn't even me building those sets. Racing chair, but no sand snow pieces. Ah. No sand snow piece. Yo. Master Chief's a real gamer. Look, he's got the gamer gunch. Look at, look. He's got the gunch. Look how gunched he is. <laughs> this is how Chief games. This is literally how he's gaming all day, every day. He's just... Gaming, I'm I'm gaming. This is Chief. 
Make it uh, when driving. If you press a button, the seat starts spitting and the chair flies to heaven. That would be pretty awesome. Not even gonna lie. Damn, look at this. Incredible. His back will need major surgery after this. That's pretty true. Actually, what if I switch the uh, animation to something else? I'm pretty sure I can choose. Do I get to choose where his hands are? What's the animation I used for the drop pod? I swear it was, it was this, wasn't it? You know what, let's see real quick. What animation can we use to choose where and how Chief sits? Because I swear I used this animation for the drop pod, but maybe not. Let's take a, let's take a little, <laughs> a little peek. So we gotta go find Chief's animations real quick. Mr. Chief, Mr. Chief. Gotta get your animations, Mr. Chief. And I'm looking for da, 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 da. gonna be under modes warthog E, I believe. Actions, idle, and he'll have IK. So the IK is what lets us choose where his hands and feet go. And as such. For one, we gotta move Chief's booty on up. Right now, that ain't it. But here's what's gonna happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna take this marker. I'm gonna move it up like that. And then I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna name it Right Foot. And this is gonna be where the one and only Master Chief's right foot is gonna go. It's gonna be down here. Down there like that. And then I'm gonna duplicate it again. And this one's gonna be called left foot. I'm gonna go over. And together, these will make up the Master Chief's feet and his, I dare say, toes. And that should be alright. So let's uh, let's see how that works. Does the animation of the Hornet pilot work? Probably. Only one way to find out, right? I'm not committed to using Warthog Passenger animation, but as far as IK stuff goes, any wow, it's important that I have feet markers for him anyway. Make your cat an enemy that kills you by running at you and meowing. I don't think. How did I just survive? I just accidentally nuked myself. I literally just nuked myself. I, and I'm somehow alive. I, I don't know how I did that. Are custom driving animations possible? Hell yeah, they are. I'm definitely gonna need them for this. Okay, well, I did give him the animation, but like he's not using the, the thingies. Left underscore foot. Oh. I'm actually, I'm just dumb. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Screw that. Frick that, man. Frick that. Frickin' heck, man. What if I... Theoretically, of course, and duplicated this animation, and I called it Chair D. And I had all these actions, and then under the idle, I had my own custom stuff. Like that. So I now have a custom animation that none of you can see on screen except for right now. And then theoretically, I did a Chair underscore D as my animation. And then when I went back in, oh my god, he's gaming. He's gaming. <laughs> I don't know why he's like hunched over so hard. 
but I got his feet in place and I will take it. Now we got to put his hands though. I got to put his hands on the armrests and maybe that will stop his body from crunching inwards and turning him into a black hole. Are you winning, son? <laughs> yeah, dad. <laughs> I'm doing really important work. <laughs> really important. You just wouldn't understand. <laughs> It would just take too long to explain. Okay, let's do that. We save this this one. And then we uh, we go here, and then we the we put it in the video game, and then we type this, and that puts it in the video game. In the video game, you know what I'm saying? It should be in the uh, in the video game now. So, if I were to just uh, make a new IK thing for right hand, and a new IK thing for left hand. Theoretically, the chief's hands and feet will now be under my control. Oh my god! <laughs> Mom! Mom! I'm gaming. Get out of here, Mom! I'm gaming. Hold on. <laughs> Demon, thank you for the two dollars. Attaching miniguns over the shoulders. That's too much power. That's so much. But maybe. I don't know, maybe. Ladies and gentlemen, it's me. I'm the I'm the game reviewer. I'm the steaming mad video game reviewer, and I'm in my gaming chair right now. And I want you to know that I am just this new video game came out, and and I'm just so I'm just so mad about it. I'm just I'm steaming mad about it. Really, it's just it's got me all riled up, and I, I just don't know. I'm so steaming mad. <laughs> oh, stupid. All right, I think it's. I think his crotch is stuck too far into the ground. I gotta pull him up real quick. Gotta yank Chief up out of the ground. Do this one more time. Another export. I, I still qu don't quite understand why he's like duck, like hunched over. Maybe it's just how the animation is. I'll have to take a look. You and Inferno Plus should do something together. Maybe. Oh, he is modding Halo 3 now. I don't know. I think I've talked to him like once or twice before. He seems like a pretty cool guy. He's big brain. He's big brain. I'm uh, importing the model again, by the way. You uh, homigos didn't realize. That's, uh, that's what I was up to there. Trying to get Chief's weenie uh, out of the ground. There we go. There we go. Andrew Vendos with another 10. You're actually just slapping 10s down like nonstop. You're actually insane. Thank you so much. Seriously. Other Death Ops Spanish properties. Rocket and Skewer Grunts. Rocket Grunts. Those are terrifying. But Skewer Grunts also be so sick. Jackals with Shredders. Which is the uh, SPV3 Bernardo and shields vulnerable only to EMPs. Only to EMPs? That's terrifying. Hunters armed with portable shade cannons and flamethrowers. Okay, the flamethrower or hunters are sick already. I think shade cannons would be interesting, but flamethrowers, I know. No, oh, those came out of Reach Evolved, right? Those two ideas. I really like those. That'd be sick. Do you think any 343 employees are watching the stream? Maybe. I think I saw, like, Horn Man was in here one time. He's on the MCC team, but that was a while ago. Back when mod tools were like first released. But I haven't really seen too many people uh, from 343 in here. Maybe. It'd be cool if there were. 
I don't know if they'd want to though, because I mean, to be honest, like, you know, no offense to you guys, but like, uh, you're in here all day and you're like, all right, three four three is bad. They should hire you, shotgun. They, three four three should hire you for their video games. And I'm just like, hey, I'm just here to make mods and have fun. And you're like, but you know what, you know what the gamers like. You got the gaming chair. That's all we wanted out of Halo Infinite anyway. We just wanted the gaming chair. We just wanted the fucking gaming chair. And I'm just, I'm sitting here like just vibing out. Like it's, you guys are freaking me. And you're just, I, I don't know. You know, so I, I, you know, I can't blame those three four three employees. You know what I'm saying? Demon, thank you for the two dollars. Can one make a chest node? Uh, no, I'm just gonna have to get a better animation. And Ender Slayer with the two dollars. Thank you. Cherub. Just the thought of it obsesses me. Yeah, that would be pretty fun. I don't know, it's so cursed. I don't know if I ever want to do a cherub. Maybe. The, the picture is disgusting. <laughs> so, you know, I do like disgusting things, so that would be pretty good. It's me, Master Chief from 343. Very cool stream. No, we will not add sound. Damn, I was hoping for those sound in the mod tools. Alright. Now the real question is, what we doing next here, brothers? Thank you for doing all that you do. I am a really big MF fan. Thank you. Glad you are a big fan. Thank you for tuning into the stream. I appreciate you being here. All right, well, we have a chair. We can sit in it. But that's all we can do is sit in it and look like we got gamer gadgets. I'm going to be honest. I think I want to keep this, right? If you have a gaming chair, why would you not want to, like, have a disgusting hunch while you're in it? This is so perfect. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, I, this is actually, I would be such an idiot to not do this, to not keep this. Finish the antimatter bomb or update the nuke. Ooh, I do want to do that. Listen, gamers, this entire stream is not just going to be the epic gaming chair. There's going to be even more stuff to it. But I do want to make the chair better before I say that I'm done with it for now because I, I can't imagine I'm going to pick this up again <laughs> after I make it. So we're going to make it good today and then we'll probably never touch it again. <laughs> Unless I have like a really funny idea for it, like the cherub or something. Andrew Van Dole's with the fiver. Huge! Flamethrower Hunters are reached evolved. Shade Hunters, Rocket Grunts, and EMP-only Jankle Shields are all SPV3. Oh. I'm pretty sure Rocket Grunts exist in Halo 2, actually. Maybe I'm mistaken. But yeah, that sounds about right. Recently got a big payday. I have the cash. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Well, good. Good shit. I'm grinding it out. That's awesome. And thank you. It's very generous of you. I do like the ideas, too. That sounds like a really sick idea. A lot of it could be made, especially with, like, Reach and 4 mod tools coming. And Demon with the 10... Huge! Huge, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the 10. Um, seriously though, if any people from 343 do happen to be able here, I will legit pay you to fix the giant tag for multiplayer. God, me too, and I don't have the money to pay you, but I'll do it. Please, 343, please, this is all I want. Oh, God. Please, 343, this is literally all I want. I literally just want to be able to stomp on my friends in Scarabs. This is literally all I want out of life. That's it. I sit here every day being a giant nerd. Look at these behind me. Look at these scarabs. They're beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> all right, that's enough of my soapbox. You all know how I feel about scarabs. Would rather attachments having collision. Uh, or like a checkbox to turn it on would be pretty tight. Actually, fun fact, um, attachments on the Scarab have collision. I think. They should. Yeah. If you're on a giant tag, attachments have collision. <laughs> look, this turret is an attached vehicle, green. And look. I can stand on it. <laughs> yeah, giant attachments have collision somehow. I don't know why.
To make a secret button combo that makes a scarab deploy a gamer chair. <laughs> Can you replace the Prophet of Truth's chair with it? Now there's a question. No, the Prophet of Truth... Oh my god, no, wait. So the Prophet of Truth... He's never in the chair in like a cutscene or anything, but he's in a chair in the holograms. So I could make it so that every single hologram in the game with the um with the prophet sitting in his chair is a gamer chair. That would be really funny. The prophet of Reddit. <laughs> what could I do for this? Did I know Game Crown has a kid now? Yeah, Grayson's got a kid. Super cute kid, too. He's he's out there, living his best adult life. It's awesome. I'm super happy for him. Demon with the $2. 343. Give bipedal collision. What? Oh, biped physics. Yo, I don't even think they have that in uh, Infinite. Wow. Okay. Chair. Fittable chair. What do I do next? I'm thinking. I make it move. I gotta make it move. I'm gonna hijack the ghost's uh, physics real quick to make it move too. Is what's going to happen. If we take a look inside the gamer chair, we'll notice that it still has the ghost anti-gravity stuff. It's got three anti-gravity points. All right. And I'm going to add all of them. Back anti-grav, right front, left front. It's easy. I dare say it's easy, easy. So we're going to make it so it's attached to the base because it's base. Let's rotate Y. Rotate Y at minus 90. Rotate Y at 90. Okay, perfect. So now it's facing downwards. gonna do this that I'm gonna shift G G Y do one last one back here oh my god it's coming together and this is gonna be anti-grav back right and then we are back anti-grav and then left front anti-grav back anti-grav Uh, the left front anti grav. Rename these real quick, and this will be right front anti grav. Okay, with these powers combined and all of these individual places marked down, our chair is slowly turning into a a real vehicle. One that can be used for real cool stuff. Could you move them out as far so you don't tip over? Yeah, probably. We'll see what happens though. Maybe it'll work first time. Who knows? Or maybe it won't. I, I just could not say. I do not know. I'm gonna have to turn them way down anyway, because they're gonna. I'm probably gonna get in this thing and go launching off into space. So let's see. Oops. <laughs> it worked, kind of. Try it again. 
<laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna turn those those anti-grab points like way, 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 way down. Demon with the fiber again, thank you so much. And the ultimate forge mod vehicle list. Yeah. It might have to be in the vehicle list. I'ma be real with you. 1.75, wait. 0.85, 0 0.85, how does that hold up? Does that still shoot me into space? That definitely still shoots me into space. I'll set the anti-grav strength on all these to uh, 0 0.1. Loading? Let's see. Gamers, move out. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Andrew Ventles, thank you for the 10 bomb. That big old juicy super chat. I Thank you, thank you. Uh, RB campaign bosses. Okay, I'm listening. Veterans from Arby's fleet during the Battle of Alpha Halo. That'd be cool, because he turned on them, and they're, they're still sided with the Covenant, the events of CE. They're out for blood, they've beefed with his failure, and they've got a Grunt Goblin pilot brandishing an M60. Yo, what? That sounds kind of cool, the Grunt character. I like that. Oh, we're so top-heavy. Uh, that's a really cool idea. I wonder if anyone would make a campaign on that level. Like on that level of uh detail to like really get into the lore and stuff. I feel like that would be so cool. Anti-grav height for this should be 0 0.1. 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Where does that leave us with our gaming chair? Yeah, I need to become a grunt and sit in this. Oh, whoa, where did we go flying? Ah, okay, we're gonna turn the gravity strength. Be the frick down. Oh, wait, hold on. Damn it, every time. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Strength is way too high. I love watching Mr. Chief struggle to use the chair. Look, it's it's a uh, it's a whole process. All right, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, Sky. I, it's it is what it is. Yo, wait. You want my yap yap biped? Maybe. Get this working first. God damn. God damn it. I keep face planting so hard. Oh, it's because this thing's so top heavy. It'll like never roll around properly. It needs like, because IRL, right? In real gaming chairs, the bottom is super heavy metal to counteract the weight of this on top. But Halo doesn't know that the center of mass is supposed to be like right here, but it's not. The center of mass is like up here. So every time I move, it's just. So, I don't know. I gotta figure this out. Hold on. We gotta, like, we gotta do some witchcraft real quick to get the, to get this chair, this epic gaming chair, center of mass, really low. Let's try it. Just change the center of mass, oh, bruh. Maybe I will, bruh. Maybe that's why I'm opening the physics model, bruh. Rigid bodies, we got just one. Demon of Sign with the five dollars! Thank you. Since the points are invisible, maybe have them spread out more so they don't tip over as much. Yes, but I want to see if I can do this while sticking to the actual size of the chair, if possible. Center of mass offset minus one. Will that work? Who knows? Who really What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Excuse me? 
What? A fucking haunted chair. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why can't I get in it anymore? Why did that make it impossible to get in? I just came to the stream to watch the chair become sentient. What the hell? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's fucking go! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Let's try it again. We got this. We're almost there. Hold on. Yeah. No, no, no. Almost. Woo! Let's go! We're gaming! We're gaming! Let's go! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Woo! Let's go, baby! Pew, pew. Oh! Oh my god! No! <laughs> I keep eating shit. <laughs> da, da, da. Wait. I have an idea. I have a really stupid idea. Give me give me two seconds. Hold on, I'll get to the chats in a second. My name is Master Chief, and I single-handedly defeated the entire Covenant Armada that came to Earth. And now, I just want my gaming fuel. <laughs> Fuck! Why did he fall over immediately? I wanted him to move, not just, not just instantly eat shit. God damn it. Mom! shit I've ever done. Oh, sorry, I'm missing super chats. Give me a second. Cortana, where's my hot pocket? Gamers, you know we gotta win this fight. Let's let's go kill those Covenant bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is so stupid. <laughs> like I'm not. <laughs> Like, this is literally the flattest ground that you could possibly have. And <laughs> somehow, I'm still falling over and eating shit every, like, ten seconds. <laughs> Not even, like, I can drive in a straight line for, like, five whole seconds before everything just totally breaks down. And I'm sorry, I know there's some super chats I haven't gotten to. Give me just a second, I just... Oh, God. Ah! Uh, what happened? Uh, 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 gotta roll into place. My name is John 117. Excuse me, hold on. I just gotta get in the right position here. Excuse me, sorry, give me one second. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a little bit. My name is John 117, and I'm here to finish the fight. Uh. 
Uh, we went too fast. Alright. This is maybe the dumbest shit I've ever done, and I'm so here for it. Alright, let me get to the super chat. Sorry. Demon with the fiver. Thank you. Gaming chair in the Warthog run. Also move the bloody gravity nodes. That's not... You can't just move a whole gravity node. That's not how science works, Demon. Don't worry, though. I did the equivalent of that. By moving the physic or the center of mass down. Thank you. Thank you for the fiver. And uh, Andrew Van Dolst with the fiver as well. Thank you so much. And yes, the lead boss would be a silent shadow, of course. The sister of a certain elite with the Sanghili clan name Zamami. Sorry, I haven't read the books. I don't know all that deep lore. Deep, deep lore. Highlighting a walking CE shade herd. Okay, this is starting to get into someone needs to make this mod to make these dreams come true territory. And it's Shadow. Thank you for the tenor. Sorry, it took me so long to get back to you, but thank you. Appreciate it. Ten, that's a pretty huge super chat. Thank you. Let me turn this music down. Uh, and you said, really quick, I realize this is super off topic, but I just wanted to ask if there's anything new with the Haunted. No, unfortunately, no plans to make anything new either. Uh, sorry if that is disappointing, but that's just currently how it is right now. I do appreciate you super chatting, though, and for popping in, even though you're probably here for the old school stuff. But thank you, thank you. The chair is actually perfect how it is right now. I agree. I 100% agree. Uh, I just need to give it like a better camera or something. Or like make it so it doesn't have a giant ghost reticle on the screen. Hold on. Let me fix that. Where's Gorilla? Let's have it not have a weapon for just a little while. We'll, we'll give it like a badass weapon soon. I'm just going to remove its uh, our weapons, ghost gun, clear. Ugh. Cortana, I'm trying to game, but the Covenant are getting in my way. Yeah. It definitely needs a bubble shield around it. Yeah, this is Master Chief's gaming throne. It's gonna have all the. Oh fuck! <laughs> Try that again. Cortana, my DX racer is getting scratches in it. I'm gonna need a new one. Contact Fleet Command at once. Is the player hidden inside of the Scarab model, or are they standing at the console like in the elephant? They are standing at the console, Ethan, and it's pretty cool. Suggestion! Scale the chair down so his feet touch the floor. Uh, it's about to scale for him. I'm just gonna leave him like this. I see your point, and it would be kind of cool, but I'm gonna leave him like... Maybe I should make his feet like dangle a little bit, though. That'd be kind of funny. First Halo 3 should have rocket gaming chairs instead of the mongoose. <laughs> That would be pretty good. First, Halo should have every mongoose replaced with this gaming chair, and it's exactly as hard to use as this, where it falls over every two seconds. Make a flying wheelchair. <laughs> what? Is Chief 8... I don't even know. This Theoretically, this gaming chair is, like, enormous. Like, hold on, it's bigger than the whole ass space pickle. Think about that right now. The, the, the blah, 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 pickle. Look at this. The whole ass space pickle is like smaller than a gaming chair. Like, excuse me? Is that right? Okay, well, it's not smaller, but it's like comparable in size. That's wild. I think the physics model's too top heavy. It is, but I turned it down. I, I took the center of mass and I yanked it down a little bit. And right now it's at the point where it's like slightly top heavy. So you can drive around. The center mass is low enough to drive around, but it falls over <laughs> like constantly. And I really like it. I want it to stay falling over. Just like it's awkward to use. <laughs> Let's fucking go.
Please make it. Upon blowing up, it yells, Kit Nip. I don't know what that is. And a humongous 3D model of your cat drops from the heavens and kills you. I'm sorry, but I, as much as people request my cat to be in the game, I can't. It's too dangerous in the Halo universe to put my cat in. Oh, we hit a bump. We hit a bump. Oh my god. It was a rock in the road. Okay. Ah, <clears throat> ah. Uh, uh. Rotate if that's cool with you guys. Rotate. Look. Listen up, gamers. It's your boy. Rejected Shotgun, a.k.a. Blue Master Chief. Listen up carefully. I think this gaming chair is perfect. I think this gaming chair is maybe quite possibly the greatest addition to any Halo game that has ever existed, ever. Now, that being said, we can't just spend all day working on this badass gaming chair looking like super awesome game-fueled cool guy. I don't know. I don't know. I, we're looking pretty epic is basically what I'm trying to say here. But we can't send, we can't spend all day just gaming like this. We got to do some cool shit. I'm talking scarabs and space pickles and like new maps where like you fight the giant badass scarabs. And I'm talking like we could make a whole new vehicle today. We could port the Halo 2 Anniversary Pelican. You hearing what I'm putting down right now? The Halo 2 Anniversary Pelican could be in the game. Think about that. So that said, what do you think? It'd be great if the wheels turned. Yeah, that's, that's... Uh, wait! I just realized I added, like, bones for this thing to rotate and stuff, and I'm not rotating it. Why? I should make it so when you look around, it rotates. But I kind of like that it's static. It's a little more cursed. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I totally missed your super chat, Mr. Andrew Van Dulst. Scenario. Camoed Death Squad Grunt sees Arby Gank, a nearby elite, decloaks and runs screaming, call for reinforcements, but not for me. Turns around, pulls out rocket launcher and ganks Arby in return. That's, I like the idea, but it would make more sense if that was like an elite, because grunts are supposed to be dumb, aren't they? A good, good concept. That's pretty dope. If you don't start every stream like how your screen is now, I will be mad. True, that needs to be a thing. The camera's super close to Chief in the chair. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off my webcam and do that. I wanna get a better uh, camera for when you're driving it. I kinda hate what it's at right now. Let me switch it. That goes to D. What about like biped support camera? Biped, yeah, biped support camera. What the? That is not right. Oh, right, because it's in a vehicle and this is meant for bipeds. So let's do board small, maybe? When Chief doesn't get his tendies, you won't like him. The fuck did you just say about me, punk? Ah, what the fuck did you just say about me, punk? Hold on, let me get let me immerse you all. Fucking uh, hold on. I gotta wheel myself back out. Give me a second here. Uh, 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 I'm falling over. Uh. Hey, listen up. Uh. Yeah. 
Listen up, alright? My friend said you were talking shit about me. Yeah, on the internet, okay? My friend said you were talking mad shit about me on the internet. And that... And that's not fucking cool, alright? You're not allowed to just say mean things about me on the internet. I'm gonna get real steaming mad and... Holy shit. A huge super... What the fuck? What the fuck did you just say about me, you little bitch? I'll have you know I'm top rank in the UNSC. I have over 5,000 confirmed kills on the Covenant Armada. <laughs> so if you ever, you ever want to make fun of me on the internet again, all right? Holy fuck. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta take care of this. This is fucking absurd. Give me a, give me a second here. Demon of Song! With the 100 dollar! Super chat! Holy shit! That's enormous. Actually fucking enormous. Huge. What the fuck? You're ridiculous. I don't even know what to say when you when you just slap a super chat. A hundred bomb. One hundred bomb. Holy fuck, demon. Alright, bet. Bet I have noticed you. I have noticed you and what you have said. I promise you that. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Wow. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, one, every stream and video should start like that. <laughs> Don't worry. This is definitely the start to every stream from now on. For sure. And two, Arcbound Hoverhog, but Goss. But Goss. Ooh. Ooh. Now that would be interesting. I do really want to do the Hoverhog, but like, do it actually good. It was so hard to make the Hoverhog good in Halo 3 with before mod tools because, like, you don't know where the markers are. Like, I was just eyeballing the markers and hoping I was placing them in the right spot. But, like, did you see how fast I set up the physics for this chair and got it working? This would have taken me, like, three hours just to do the physics points. And it took me, like, a little over five minutes to do for this chair. Easy peasy. I want to post a picture of this on Twitter. <laughs> Fuck. Well, let me let me reposition Chief. I want to I want to post this on What should the caption be? Like Chief has some very strong opinions about video games. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I kind of like that. What does it look like if the pelican picks up the chair? I that's a good question. Probably basically how you'd expect. <laughs> Sir, finishing these nuggies. All right, let's screenshot. I'm gonna screenshot a little, a little thing like the little square picture. What's, what's the best picture we gotta get of this? Ender Slayer with the two dollars. Thank you so much. Check Discord. Made the cherub more cursed. Oh God, you made it even more cursed. A cherub that can sprint, flailing its legs around, and can hover and fly, moving its legs around like a squid. Like a malevolent, eldritch horror. Oh my god. That's actually terrifying. I, I, I literally am, like, disturbed. But that's probably the right reaction, the best reaction to have about it. Um, let me move it like this and there. Demon with the fiver. Thank you. Appreciate it. Master Chief, mind telling me what you're doing in that Discord chat? Sir. Gr All right. All right. We got to go. We got to go. Chief would never do that. All right. You can't do my boy Chief dirty like that. He would never do that. He would never dare you. I didn't actually buy the Fortnite skin. 
Some dumb e-girl bought it for me. <laughs> it was simple. Oh, God. Alright, I feel like it's just really way too tempting to just keep on keeping on with this whole chair. So I gotta... There we go. Looking good. Andrew again with the 10. Huge, humongous, enormous 10. Thank you. Appreciate it. Grunts are frighteningly intelligent and resourceful when they want to be. That is true. Especially in Infinite, you can kind of see that. Uh, Banish Death Ops should exemplify this fact. I'll have to join your Discord just so I may offline more RB campaign ideas. You should. I feel like a lot of people might get interested and pull some ideas from that for their own mods. Ah. <sighs> Well, this feels pretty good. You know, see, I have this sweet ride, right? It's this golden warthog. And, like, you know, that's pretty dope. But... Nah, that ain't it. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is real luxury. Oh, shit, I almost immediately fell over. <laughs> yeah, this is real luxury right here. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I'm becoming a pro at controlling this. Oh, ah! Master Chief is contemplating his life choices. How did he get here? What led him to this point in his life? Middle of a grassy field, practically glued to a gamer chair, he stares down at the ground. This is not epic, he thinks. This is not Liddy Poggers. And he's right. Halo, Brian. It's with the two dollars. Thank you. Appreciate ya. I sent you the dot blend file for the H2A pickle. Hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I will take a look at it later. Oh my god. Whoa, that was sick! Somebody clipped that! That was sick! Wow, you're doing crazy moves. Woo! Who kick flip? Um, I'll take a look at the H2A pickle soon-ish. To be honest with you, I'm pretty satisfied with how this is looking so far. Like, it's pretty tight. NGL fam. It's pretty dope. I like the aesthetic of it. I'll take a look at the H2A one. For sure. But I, I can't really complain. Like, with this one, I mean. Like, this is pretty dope. Can you put the gaming chairs inside of the Golden Warthog? See, now you're asking the right questions. Let's let's take a look at that. Let's we're gonna we're gonna find out exactly whether or not that's possible. So let's uh let's check it out. How much of a gamer can we become? So we've got the default variant of it, which should have a vehicle. Will be uh, object vehicles gamer. Here. Oh my god. Yeah, let's go. This is fucking this is it right here. This is peak performance. <laughs> oh hell yeah, this is my throne. Oh, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm looking good today in the back of the G hog, the G wagon, if you will, with the gaming chair. Jackson, they keep telling you Warthog Run with chair. Yeah, Warthog Run with the chair would be pretty epic. Uh, unironically, extremely epic. 
But I would each- I need like the chair to actually be reliable. I would die instantly if I did a Warthog run with the gaming chair. However, Warthog run with the super speedy golden Warthog with somebody in the gaming chair on the other hand. Now we're in business. Now we're talking. That's all I'm saying. You don't need a turret in the back of the Golden Warthog. You just need the E-Win. White and Black Edition gaming chair. Not sponsored, by the way. I don't know who the fuck E-Win is. <laughs> AJ with the Fiverr. Thank you. What the fuck did I just walk in on? Is this seriously where my donuts have gone? OMG. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Pranked ya. Here's $5. All right. Thank you for... <laughs> Thank you for the prank. And yes, I'm sorry to tell you that unironically, this is exactly where your donations have gone. It is what it is. You'll have to just accept the reality that is here. But thank you for that epic prank. You really got me. You got me good. Uh. 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 <laughs> Make the chair spin like the turret when the camera moves. I could do that. I actually was thinking I wanted to do that. But to be honest, the only reason I haven't done that is because it's really funny to like... Because like if I do this, I can make it so every time I turn my head, the whole chair like swivels where I'm looking. But I kind of like how like disgusting and goblin-like the chief is when he's like hunched over like looking around. He's like... <laughs> it's... Is that a biped? No, it's just a chair. That's, uh, so this is not in fact a biped, this is a gaming chair. As it turns out. Fun fact. Demon of Song with the $5! H2A pickle, or upscaling the Halo 2 pickle? Eh, I don't really need to upscale the pickle. I mean, it's it looks pretty good as is, to be honest. <sighs> it fits pretty well. If I like all things considered, it looks like a space pickle. I don't feel like it's one of those objects where it's in need of upscaling, like the Halo 2 scarab was. Like here, look at this. You can make it spin while in the warthog though. Damn, that's true. That is true. But look, I mean, okay, maybe I'd upscale these a little bit. These default textures. Just like a teensy tiny bit. But only because. They're slightly blurrier than I would like. But honestly, as far as Halo 3's fidelity goes, this is pretty much up to par. Maybe like... Maybe like a little bit too low quality for Halo 3, but... I mean, I don't know. Look at the pixels there, like... You can kind of see the blur, right? When you zoom in. But that's basically the level of fidelity that Halo 3 has, right? Go up to the Warthog, you know, kind of see the blur. The pixels. But I will say, I guess Halo 3's slightly higher fidelity than that. Doesn't look bad though. We get a version with hard floor wheels. Hard floor wheels. What does that mean? Hard floor wheel. It's marginal. Yeah, agreed and all. It's it's pretty marginal. I think it actually, as far as like a lot of things when you port them from Halo 2 don't look good in Halo 3, because there's like clearly a gap of years in the quality. But the pickle is actually pretty good. It is. Beat uh uh help no Remorox with the two bucks thank you appreciate it for that two right there reach Mac gun that fires Halo two pickle maybe maybe may I do want to do a Mac gun like actually I really do want to do a Mac gun I think that'd be super sick uh, speaking of the pickle though. We haven't dropped a pickle today, and I'm now dropping a pickle. Yep. Yep, that is quite satisfying. That is quite satisfying. The level of fidelity in the gaming chair, as far as Halo 3 goes, looks good also. That's true, Soap. That is true. Soccer ball sound would make a good small wheel sound. That's a 
Very good point, actually. I was just going to use a default, like, soft grinding object sound, but you make a very, very good point there. Might have to play with that. Usually I don't focus on sounds too much because you can't actually hear sounds in the editing kit, but yeah, you know what? You make a very valid point. I might just use that. Andrew, again with another 10. Holy shit. Ooh. Joined, I assume you mean the Discord server. I plan to commission Ethereal ELD for an RB campaign mock-up poster once he's off break. Also just remembered my favorite SPV3 feature I wish all the Halos had. Doom mode, centered view mode. Wait, it has a Doom mode? I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. AJ with a fiver as well. Thank you. That's so many, so many super chats today. Y'all are wild. But thank you for the fiver. Instead of this mod, can you just remake all of Planoa 2 in Halo 3 with the limited mod tools available to you? K thanks. Plus pranked. I'm afraid to look that up. That sounds like something like I don't. It sounds weirdly sexual. I'm gonna look this up. Oh no! It's literally just it's an actual video game. That was not the prank. It, it's just a video game. I don't know what this is. It looks like a Sonic ripoff. Sorry, that's gonna sound awful since you probably like the game. Pretend I didn't say that. But I don't know what that is, and because I don't know what it is, I will have no passion for doing it. But I respect the idea, and maybe one day you can do it. Maybe, just maybe. What in the hell is going on? Oh. All right, all right. Ooh, this is a banger. Hold on, I gotta turn this up. I gotta turn this up right now. I hope that's not too loud, but this song is an absolute banger. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a real nice ride right here, yeah. You get right in back, yeah. You just, you get, you're chilling out on your gaming chair, thinking to yourself, all right, right, this is just right good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Elite animations? I don't know if they work. I'd have to test it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, I never noticed the bottom of this hog is pretty tight. Like the Pope's car, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm dicking around enough. We should keep, I gotta keep the content going, you know? Uh, uh, uh. How sad the G-Hog is when it's blown up. That's so sad. Make a flying scarab with wings. I don't think I will. I might make a flying gamer chair though. Been around like hell. Alright. Oh my god, I'm yawning like crazy tonight. I did start stream a little late though, to be fair. Make a Halo 2 shadow is better than making a golden hog. Very controversial? That is very controversial. You're absolutely right. I don't know if I can agree with you on that. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be straightforward and honest. I'm a straight shooter. And I want you to know I don't I don't freaking know if I agree with that. Uh, but uh, you could be right though. Could be right. All right, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I want and can make the gaming chair even cooler, but my question to you is, should I keep gaming in the chair or should I move on to doing something like Let's say 
a crazy huge mm, Arab Arena Battle Destruction mod or porting the Halo 2 Anniversary Pelican. I'm going to do... Actually, let me look at this. Let me see if it's possible. I'm going to look right now on the Halo Archive link. And I want to see if there is a Halo 2 Anniversary Pelican. And if there is... I might just port it over. Also, this music's a little too loud now. But I might just port over the Halo 2 Anniversary Pelican. Because I'm brave and bold and beautiful. We go to Vehicles. Yep, Halo 2 Anniversary Pelican. It exists. It's real. I don't know what to tell y'all. We could, we could have... Let's see if it... Is it cool enough to warrant putting in the game, though? You know? I'm kind of on that vibe. Demon with the $2. Move on. Chair is boring, and I paid for it. Okay, technically... You probably paid for it single-handedly at some point, but everyone else cumulatively also paid for it because we definitely doubled that goal. So now at next, uh, next stream, I'll have to come up with another stupid dono goal of some kind. I don't even know what. If I think of anything worthwhile, I'll make one. Otherwise, there just won't be one. But it could be fun. All right, I found the files for the Halo 2 Anniversary Pelican. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to sit my happy ass down inside, not the Warthog, no, not the Warthog, we're going to sit, no, stop that, stop now, Mr. Ch Ba, 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 ba. Oh, okay, sorry. It took me a second. I, my, my brain like fried. AJ with the fiver. Thank you so much. Real question is, why doesn't the gaming chair have an accompanying desk, PC monitor, and mouse and keyboard attached with RGB, of course? You make a valid point. In fact, oh my god, I almost forgot I was going to do an RGB shader for it where like it glows RGB and like there's a light underneath it and everything. I don't know why I don't have that. I'm actually dumb and stupid for not doing that. I need to I need to do that immediately. I'm I'm just so silly. I'm actually such a silly silly goose, aren't I? That's crazy. Um I will do that another time. Because Demon is right. The the gaming chair has outlived its time on this particular stream. I will make it better in the future and I'll probably I have no choice but to make the gaming chair better, by the way. If any of you are disappointed that I'm switching off of it right now, because I will use it at the beginning of <laughs> every single stream. Regardless of whether you want me to or not. So, that being said, let's throw the H2A Pelican into Blender and see if it's something that we actually want. Because I think it is. All right, I'm getting the files for it off screen right now. You can't see it, but now you can. Um... Where's all my things? So, gaming chair worked out great. Honestly, pretty badass. Now I'm going to open up the blend file. So here's a PNG image of the H2A Pelican. Ooh, ooh. Demon again with a fiver. Gaming scarab, computers, desks, gaming chairs, all inside while it's an AI so it walks around and there's an actual Johnson AI driving it. Whoa. So the Scarab, but with a bunch of gaming chairs inside of it. Hold on. Hold, hold the, hold the phone. I need to test something. And I need to know. Don't don't worry about what I'm doing, okay? All of you need to mind your mind your, your own business. I'm not doing anything. Where? Jack that I'm heading out. See ya around Lou. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you being here. My question, right? I put this gaming chair down. No biggie. But if I drive the scarab forward. 
my god, it's perfectly still. Oh my god, it's completely still. It has moved perfectly. <laughs> Is there a link for all these models that viewers can get? Uh, not really. I mean, I can send you the link to this chair model if you want it. I got it off of Sketchfab. Still have the tab open because I need to credit the artist if I ever do something with this. Watch this. I'm going to put the gaming chair over to the side. But every other model is literally just, I ripped it out of Halo. You know, everybody's technically got access to it. Look at that. The gaming chair. Do you see the little tiny speck? It's up there. I'm moving the scarab around wildly. There's just an epic chair sitting there on the side of the scarab, that little tiny speck. Amazing. There it goes. We have the technology. Hanging on for dear life. I destroyed the scarab, no problem, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. Alright, well that was kind of fun to mess around with for a second. Let's check out the uh, H2A Pelican and see if I'm obsessed enough with Pelicans to import it myself. Model, okay, so there's a FBX file, a blend file. I don't know if I want to open up a whole ass blend file with somebody else's stuff. How many textures? Oh my god! That's a lot of textures. That is a whole lot of textures. And I don't know necessarily if I want to apply them all. So I think I will, in fact, open the blend file. Unless the FBX has it auto applied. No, it doesn't look like it does. But I'll try. AJ with the fiber, thank you so much. Stationary missile pods and Gauss cannons would be cool to stick on the scarab as a walking fortress. True, that would be pretty cool. The ODST Gauss cannons would be pretty nice. H2A Phantom available? Uh, I don't know, I'll take a look. Wait, why didn't that open? Or, like, not working, that's weird. Yeah, I guess I'll just open the blend file and say screw it. Um, but yeah, there's a, in ODST they have these cool stationary warthog turrets. I'd love to see how they look. Oh, we're loading textures, hold on. Please pause. It's all rhymes for the national anthem. Now this is a nice looking pelican though. God damn. This is probably as close as we could get to the infinite pelican. It's still loading textures very slowly. I can see my PC chugging when it does. See the lag. I don't know how long that's gonna take though. Oh, oh, we're getting some textures inside. See them? Oh. It's not available. Get the archive discord and the model resources. They're all the main games models. So it's probably there. Yeah, if, it's, if there's a model for it, I should be able to find it one way or another. Damn, this is a good looking pelican. So I feel like the textures aren't set up quite right, if I'm being honest. The, uh... Got a nice detail map on it. It's got a nice reflectivity. It's pretty slick. And it's got like the Halo 3 landing bay. Everything looks right. Okay, pelican bones. Not everything's set. This would be pretty easily. Halo Brian, thank you for the two bucks. I can send you the infinite pelican. Well, I don't know if I can actually use the Infinite Pelican. It's probably got way too many triangles to actually um, use it and import it. This is dope, though. It's basically, from what I'm seeing here, it's the Reach Pelican. A 
essentially, but it's animated very differently at the same time. Is the H2A Pelican just the Reach Pelican? Because if it is, then it's like, why even do the H2A one when I, I could just do Reach, you know? Demo Gaming, thank you for the five bucks. Gaming chair, that's like the Prophet's chair that fires scarab beams that are RGB. RGB scarab beams, that's kind of cursed and I kind of love it. Please make a giant milk carton, excuse me? Excuse me, hello? H2A Pelican is the Reach model. Okay, so it's basically the Reach model with different textures. Huh, but are the textures better than the Reach ones? Because I'm gonna be honest, this 23 looks mad sus. Almost like it's literally ripped directly out of reach. So what's the point of using this when I could just get the reach one and it probably works even better? Because this one's kinda like, hmm. Hmm, yeah, no, this is definitely reach. I recognize these seats. Hundo percent, hundo, yeah. Only difference is the chin cannon? I don't know, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, the chin cannon. This is like totally new chin cannon, isn't it? The reach one didn't look anything like this. I will say, I think the textures are a lot grungier, which is kind of cool. Reach is very clean and gray. Did you remember the chair I put in the Discord server? Uh, what? I don't know. What are you putting in the Discord server? I don't think I remember. Um, I don't know. Couldn't couldn't quite say. Uh, I think Reach Pelican is grayer. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Mm, this is tempting. I don't know if I want to put this in. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be real. I got to I gotta use the restroom real quick, and that'll help me think on whether or not I want to add this in. So, give me a second. I'll give you that chair content that you always wanted. I'll be right back.
Hey, what do you guys think you're doing just in my chat, huh? Just hanging out in my chat? Just hanging out, doing whatever it is you do in chat, huh? You think you can just do that here? Well, you can, and welcome. You're absolutely welcome here. You better stay here, get cozy, because we're going to do some crazy modding. Uh, all right. Let's do some crazy money. Has anybody done the high ground missile launcher? No, but that'd be pretty sick. I kind of want to do that now that you mention it. What's on the server again? Uh, I don't know where you're posting. Oh, modding show off. You made a chair. Oh, cool. I didn't know you made a chair. Pretty neat. I like your chair. Man just has a good gaming chair. Yeah, it's true, I do. Yeah, no, you're right. That's actually pretty true. I have a great gaming chair. I have the best gaming chair out here. I'm glad you recognize. Um, yeah, real talk. I don't think I'm going to use the H2A Pelican. In fact, I don't even think I'm going to use its textures. Tempting. But I think the rip is missing, like, specular maps and stuff and control maps. That being said, I might come back to this. What else can we grab from H2A, though? That is interesting. Uh, we could get the updated Seraph. That's pretty cool. There's an updated H2A Shadow. Yo, would it... Okay. You know, I got a lot of requests of people asking whether or not we should do the Seraph. Let me look. I literally did a video. We're going to go back to my own video here to decide whether or not the Halo 2 Anniversary Seraph is the right one. Oh my god, by the way, my old school Halo 2 Anniversary Scarab mod. To be honest with you, I actually... I'd, if I had the Halo 2 Anniversary Scarab model, I probably would use this. Uh, for But I, I, I gotta be honest, it, I just don't know if I like the anniversary treatment the Scarab got. I really don't know if I like it. Demon though, with the Fiver, thank you, thank you so much. What about attaching the chair to the scrapped walking turret? The scrapped walking turret. Oh, that would be so hard to recreate. If you're talking about from the Halo 3 Alpha, ooh, that would be really hard to recreate. Could be cool, though. Could be cool, yeah. Um, let's take a look at the Seraph, though. I... Uh, I don't know if the Halo 2 Anniversary Seraph will look good. Because Halo 3 already has a Seraph in it. I don't know if you guys knew that. Literally, Halo 3 already has it as a vehicle. And I'm worried that the Halo 2 Anniversary Seraph is going to look like weird and out of place with the art style. But at the same time, it's really the best chance for a higher fidelity Seraph. I, I don't know if you all knew this. The Seraph in Halo 2 was a model that was made for Halo 1. And it's also in Halo 3 in a cutscene. And you can grab the model for it. So, the Seraph is basically a Halo 1 model. So, I think getting the anniversary model of it is the best, best idea here. So I think I do, in fact, want the Halo 2 anniversary Seraph. You should make an RTS Halo 3 mod. Maybe I will. The Halo Reach RTS mod was really fun. Um, but I think... It would be really cool if I made a Halo 2 Anniversary Seraph in Halo 3. Because damn, those textures do look good. I could always grab the Reach one. Okay, but look. This is the model that's in Halo 3, right? If I was going to make... It would be shinier and have like better shaders, to be sure. But it's either that or that. And I'm thinking the Halo 2 Anniversary one looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So, I want to throw it into Blender, honestly. I'm thinking this could be a fun project, right? I don't know how many of you guys... Reach Seraph is better than crappy H2A1. Mm, eh, the Reach Seraph, uh, I'm not going to animate that. Uh, that sounds like a lot of work. But we'll see. <gasps> Cat. Cat.
wants my attention. She's such an adorable creature. All right, so models H2A Pelican. Let's also do H2A Seraph. How about it? That's the Pelican. Let's open up the Seraph. Throw it all into our folder here. We're looking good. So file. Throw this into Blender real quick. So here is the model. Wow, yeah, that is definitely a lot more detailed than the Halo 2 model. It's a lot, a lot more detailed. But does it fit in with the art style is my question. Like, it looks strange. I just don't feel... It definitely feels like Halo 2 Anniversary. Aren't you planning on finishing the Space Pickle? Uh, it basically just needs damage and it's done. I, I literally just need to add damage. And I mean, I, I can pretty much do that at any time. Ah, <sighs> You know, I'm just... I look at it and I'm like, is this Halo 3? And I just... Really, something else, but it's updated. Uh. Andrew, thank you for the two bucks. I appreciate you. Why not collab with Vuth Krell and add Halo 2 Anniversary's Spectre? I suppose I could. I definitely suppose I could. Isn't that the person in Halo mods who made the Halo 2 Classic Spectre? Do it. All right, maybe I'll throw this into Halo 3 and just kind of see how it looks, right? Because maybe I'm just overthinking things. So it's got one material, two material. Oh, and it's got speculars as well. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some magic here to make these textures work right. But realistically, I don't think it's going to be too much of a trouble. I don't think it's going to be too much trouble at all. That being said, everything is just 10,000 triangles in total. That's, pfft, that's nothing. That's baby poo poo, easy peasy, no problemo. It would look bluer, tinier. <sighs> Let's figure it out. Let's figure out if we can make this work and if it even looks good in Halo 3. Because I don't even know if it will. I might hate this a lot. But one way or another, we're putting it in. So let's do, uh, let's make this compatible with Halo 3. Easy. H2A Seraph. Let's do H2A Seraph 2. What? Bring me back. Cool. Uh, now what we got to do is join these two meshes together. We need to create an armature so that we have something to work with here. And I assume this is gonna be really tiny, so let's get Master Chief in from Halo 3 as a reference for how big I need to make this. Uh, Chief, where are you, where are you? Oh my God, I'm actually blind and deaf. Boom, there you are. How tiny is this? Oh my God, it's literally the size of like a pea. How about make the vulture or the vampire? Eh, maybe, maybe another time. That's a hundred times bigger, huh? No, it's 10. 100, that is still not even close to the right size. That's a bit better. Uh, it really needs to be like, that's probably more right out there. I should probably get the actual scale, but that's better. The Spartan is like that big. Maybe this is a little too big. Bring it down to like there maybe. Yeah, that's, that seems about right. 128 times default size. Okay. No, that's not right. Pull up Halo 3 Seraph for scale. Ah, I know, I know, I really should. 
Uh, all right, I'll pull it up. I just have to find it. I really didn't want to like go through it, but uh, I should. What's it called? I think it's literally called Seraph in Halo 3's tag, so I could just search it. Unless they called it something else. I vaguely remember them not calling it a Seraph. It's not Reclaimer. It was pulled off of... Uh, whatchamacallit. It was pulled off of... Uh, blah, blah, blah. You can't export H2A stuff from Campaign Green. Dummy. Tool, extract, render, data. We're going to extract the... What folder is it under? Objects. Cinematics. Oh, and it's loading again on my other monitor. Give me a second, I'll find out exactly where this is located. What's happening in the stream? Well, we made a hilarious epic gaming chair, and now... We are trying to get the Halo 2 Anniversary Seraph into the game. But first, we gotta get... Could not find objects, cinematics... Covenant Seraph. Oh, right. I do the entire thing because I'm doing extract render data. So I do u slash serif slash serif dot render model. Can't find it again. Andrew, thank you for the fiver. This one on Nexus Mods. Uh, standard Heretic and Halo 2 3 Seraph and CE Shadow Colorations. I know exactly what it is. Yeah, I saw that person on Halo Mods, Andrew. I know exactly what you're talking about. Actually, fantastic vehicle. Super well done. I can show it on stream in a minute. Uh, but basically, he's talking about a Halo 2 Spectre. Fully featured Halo 2 Spectre. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, for all of you who are just arriving and you want to see the gaming chair. Here it is. Be a short break to You really do be gay. I do. Ah. Uh. Alright, I think I got the wrong command though. I forgot what it's called. It's roll up extract. X oh right, I don't even have it right. Extract render data. Or export extract import info. I think that's the command I'm trying to do is Export import info. Extract import info. That's exactly what you said in chat too. Import. There we go. Cool. Um, so let's import that real quick for scale. Import JMS. Uh, cool. Halo 3 editing kit. Data. Extracted. Objects. Cinematics. Covenant. Seraph. Render. Seraph! Okay, so this is the actual Halo 3 two scale Seraph. So. Let's get it to the right scale now. That's pretty close to the right scale. Make it a little bigger. Back a little. Can't see. Um, but this is the Halo 3 Seraph. And uh, I've got the scale for the anniversary one. Pretty good. Move this to the side. You know what? Maybe this will look good after all. Maybe it will. Gaming chairs, not over standing straight up. Standing up straight over long distances. Actually pretty true. All right. So there, there's a couple of interesting things to point out here. The, um, the Halo 3 Seraph has markers for the engine, front lights, and a weapon middle. I don't think we need to use them. My question is, though, I have a really interesting thing I want to see. The Halo 2 Seraph 
Does the Halo 2 Seraph have extra data that's unused in the model? I want to know. I genuinely want to know. So let's find out. Halo 2 editing kit, tags, or search Seraph. I want to see if there's data and stuff from the Halo 2 Seraph. Because, uh, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Seraph from 2 could fly, the same as Reach of Seraphs. Yes, they could. They most certainly could. Tags, scenarios, objects, vehicles, C underscore Seraph. All right, cool. I think that's the one we want. There's also one on Solo Alpha Gas Giant, but I want to do the objects, vehicles, C Seraph. So, yeah, let's get that one on from Halo 2. C underscore Seraph. So, tool. Let's see what commands there are in Halo 2. They're different from 3, and it always confuses me. Extract render data, right. Tool, extract, render, data, objects, vehicles, C, serif. C, serif. Uh, that's, that's exactly where it was though. So the fact that you're not extracting that right now is, uh, uh, little sus. Why aren't you? Uh, oh, scenarios, objects, vehicle. Whoops. All right, now we've got it. Let's import the Halo 2 one as well. See if we can get any insights into how this worked, what, where like the weapons were and things. We got a Halo 2 editing kit, data extracted. Maybe not. Scenarios. Objects. Did not call. Oh, C underscore Seraph. Right. There it is. What can you tell me? Halo 2 Seraph. Well, I've got good news and bad news. Uh, uh, not really any good news. It, it didn't have anything cool. However, we're not done here. Because there's another Seraph in Halo 2. Different model that might be the one with more data, and I want to take a look at it. So we are gonna do that. So we go to the folder. So we're gonna extract this last one, and then we're gonna just say screw it and try to do the serif. So it's under scenarios, objects, solo, alpha, gas, giant, serif, serif. Cool. This is the last one we'll import, and then we're just going to move on to getting this into Halo 3. All right, Seraph, do you have any cool stuff to share with us? Oh my god, why? What? <laughs> what? Bungie, hold on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let me save this. Uh, What the fuck it just happened? All right, I'm importing this. Let's do that again. This... This is Bungie right now. There is just an armature here called Fuck. That's it. It's just called Fuck. <laughs> That's what Bungie was up to. Some guy was working on the Seraph back in like 2003. Some shit like that. And he just is like, ah, here's a little armature. I'm just going to call it Fuck. I'm so done today. Here's Fuck. It, it, I don't know why that exists. Demon, thank you for the fiver. Well, if the Halo 3 one has nodes, then what's the issue? If No, it does. I just wanted to see if we could get any insights uh, into like what the Seraph has as far as like weapons and stuff goes. Um, and that's it's cool. That's cool. We're good. Um, I'm just gonna move this back. Anyhow. We got the uh, info that we needed. We can now import this into Halo 3 and give it a shot and see how it looks. So let's do that. Um, so here's my dummy armature that I just made. So I'm going to basically take my little dummy armature here. Take this model and I'm going to move it around like so. I'm going to take 
my bone. Move it up. I'm going to also... Visibility. Viewport display. Where is it? Viewport is in front. There we go. That makes it so much easier. Now I can see the bone through stuff. Even song with the $2. What's the Halo 3 textures like? They're the exact same ones that were used in, cut from Halo 1, the ones that were used in Halo 2. And uh, yeah, they've basically just been holdouts from the original Halo, but they were never used. I actually have a tweet about this. Uh, Twitter rejected shotgun. What was it called? It was like Covenant Bank. I want to see if I can... I think I got it. Marcus Leto, I think, posted about it. Then I like quote tweeted it. Ah, I can't find the tweet. I'm sorry, guys. But basically, there was some really interesting cut stuff. The uh, the Seraph was not originally supposed to be a space vehicle at all. The original plans for it were very different, and I recreated it. I have like a Blender file of it somewhere on my PC. Don't know where, but it is somewhere, and it would be really cool if I could find it, but... Uh, the stealth tank. C. Uh, it was around this time Marcus Leto was typing, like... Was it, this was originally supposed to be like a ground-based Covenant tank, is basically what I'm trying to get to here. And it was pretty cool, and it had these extra bits on the side, and they're still in the texture map all the way up until Halo 3. It is really cool. And that's why, uh, Demon, when you said, what's the Halo 3 textures like? The reason I started going on about this, because I know it's somewhere. I wish you could search individual profiles. I want to search through my tweets. But it's like... Objective Shotgun, Covenant, Tank... Projected shotgun. Seraph, maybe? You know what? Actually, the Halo 3 uh, textures for the Seraph are pretty good. I forgot about this. Look at this. Oh, it's super blurry now, because of course it is. But it's kind of shiny and nice looking, to be honest. It's not even that blurry. Like... Maybe I just will use the Halo 3 Seraph stuff. It looks good. Andrew, thank you for the final $2. I must take my leave. I will reconvene on the server. Thank you. I appreciate you. For all your super chats and tuning in and with your cool ideas. Definitely share them on the server. Definitely, definitely. Uh... Wait, what did you... Somebody helping me search on Twitter? Forerunner tank? No, not Forerunner tank. Not talking about the Forerunner tank. I search your own tweets you do from user account turn. Oh. From. Projected shotgun. And then I do C. There's the letter C. Ah, that literally was it. Here we go. This is what it was originally supposed to look like, the Seraph. Let me get the 3D spin around one. I know I have another one. Oh, I think I did it in the replies. Yeah, I did, okay. I have this file somewhere on my PC, but this is how it was originally supposed to be. These, the You see these side panels that are obviously not there normally on the Seraph? Those are in the texture. In Halo 2 and Halo 3, those side panels are in the textures, but they are unused. And the only time anyone ever seen has seen these uh, was in the Halo CE beta that Marcus Leto showed off at uh, on his Twitter. And so I, I created the model for them from scratch and textured them onto them. And I feel like they look pretty slick. Um, and I, th This is basically how they were supposed to look. It's not one-to-one. -one. It's not like a model rip from the uh, original Halo CE alphas. But I, I did my best to recreate it, and I feel like it looks pretty good. It's 
talking to you. I can hear that. I can hear Lady. Yeah, she's she's going hard. I gotta give her some love in a minute. But I have that model, and it's kind of tempting to put it into the. Whoops. Kind of tempting to put it into the game. It's because I'm starting to like not like the H2A one. I think the the one that's already in three looks pretty good, and I think I'm just gonna use that instead. Oh, I'm gonna go love on uh, Sad Cat real quick. Her name is Faye. I'm gonna go love on her. My heart hurts. She just wants me to play with her. Just wants me to play with her. She's literally holding her toy and looking at me. Pain. Um. You know what? I gotta be honest, guys. I had a lot of fun this stream, but I, I think it. I I need to go grocery shopping because I've been off putting grocery shopping because I've been streaming all the time. I need to give my cat some love. I would love to work on the Seraph tonight, but I think I should just save that for like a stream tomorrow. Save an updated pelican for tomorrow's stream. Save the cool scarab idea and just keep going. So here's what we going to do: chair gaming time. We gonna we're gonna game a little bit with the chair. And I I'm gonna have to leave soon so that I can love on my little kitty cat and give her some attention. I've missed so much in my days of absent. Melon, you have missed. Sorry, <clears throat> let me just. Uh, uh, damn it. Let me back it. Ah, uh, what the fuck just happened? Why did that happen? Come back. Come back, chair. Better. Oh, I gotta move to the side. Hold on. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, <sighs> Melon, you missed a hell of a lot, all right? I've been, I've been talking about video games all day. AJ, thank you for that fiver. Thank you so much for that fiver. Really appreciate that fiver. That is huge. Thank you. Here's five bucks. Spend some time with Kitty. I absolutely will. 100%. 100%. I'm going to spend some time with Kitty. Don't you even worry about it. I see that I've missed some very important things. In fact, you have. In fact, you have. Thank you, though, AJ. I really appreciate it. But here's the deal. I'm going to go spend some time with my new Kitty. She's been asking for my attention all stream. I'm also going to go do some grocery shopping and stuff because, you know, I got to be a human being. I got to live my life. I can't just stream all day long. I need to eat. So, all right, gamers. All right, gamers. It's that time. Love and appreciate you. All right. I'm going to go rant about video games in my gaming chair now. So I hope you all have a lovely time. I want to thank you all for your huge support today. Huge Omega support. It's been absolutely amazing. Amazing huge support today, guys. Absolutely insane. We've been gaming so hard today, guys. The biggest support. Biggest support. You've never seen that much. A crazy support. We've had all day. All this big stream. Biggest gaming support like you've never seen. It's so much gaming support. You Literally so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you all. Probably tomorrow when I keep streaming. Woo! Well, let's let's go. Goodbye. Have a good night, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> goodbye. Join the Discord server. Follow me on Twitter. Ooh.